Sugar bunnies. How is everybody today? It's Saturday and you, for a lot of people I think it's pretty much spring break now unless it starts a little bit later. Um, so everybody should be having a pretty good day. I know I looked forward to spring break. <laughs> so um, there are a few changes to my live stream in case you guys didn't see my notifications. Um, I did post it on the social medias that I have as well as the community tab of my YouTube channel. Um, made two changes that way it's kind of a little bit more fair and um, more people get to participate and um, I think it's just a little bit more fun um, that way everybody can enjoy it so I am limiting the number of entries per any one person to five and then also I will be picking the top two people that get the correct answer for the um, the questions so um, there will be 60 entries instead of 30 and then again um, the limit of five so um, I do just want to say too because I know it's been um, causing a little bit of concern so um, I can only I guess moderate so much in the chat because um, I'm here to open up the blind bags have fun with you guys and then chat so um, if things start getting a little I guess heated um, or someone says something that you don't like, um, I guess I'm just going to ask that you please ignore it the best you can and just continue to stay and have fun. Um, and if you can't, then um, sometimes it's just good to take a little break away and then maybe come back if you'd like. Um, so just do your best and um, I guess do what you do in life. Just try to... Um, I guess make everything kind of peaceful. So if we can do that, that would be really great. That would have a really nice stream. Um, and so, yeah, uh, after every three questions, I will open up a blind bag and show you something that I've added to the prize packages. There's a lot of different stuff. Um, I think there's 10 items or something that I added to prizes. And then I also add in some of the blind bags that I open up, depending on if I collect them or not. Um, I used to keep some, but then I give some away. So um, I also do, give some that um, I've kept for a while because I might need it for like a picture or something that I've been wanting to do and then I'll just throw it in but yeah you guys will see so um, let's get started I will open up one of these blind bags and which one would you guys like to see <laughs> hey there everybody so now I'm looking at the chat oh thank you Alexis she says she loves me that's so sweet <laughs> Oh yeah, if you guys haven't yet, please like this. That's awesome. Thank you for the reminder. I love that. Thank you guys. So, um, let's see. The slime. The slime is actually not something I'm going to be opening. That will be a prize to pick. But I do see Pick Me Pops. So, you guys really, really like these Pick Me Pops. I've had this one for a while. It's a season two. Um, but I do have like a lot of these. I know I was going to do like a full unboxing video and then I just never got around to it. So I've just been throwing them in these um, blind bag unboxings. So it's series two and um, they don't sell them in the store anymore. But maybe you could find them somewhere that sells like the random things. But the inside of this should be like the blue. It's like a light teal blue. You could always see it through here. But it doesn't have any bearing as to what you're going to get. I mean it might, but mostly you get it by the scent. So. This one smells kind of chocolatey to me, so I don't remember if this one, it was like a puppy that was smelling chocolate, maybe this one, but we will find out. So other than the smell, there might have been like a box placement hack, but I know I just mostly guessed by smell. And when I got these, I just got a whole bunch, but whenever I open it, I always try to guess before I open. So if I can get the zipper, my nails aren't very long. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, so it is the light blue, and I'm just gonna do this really quick. Sorry about that. All right, here. So there is a blind bag inside, and then the stand, and a checklist, okay, with a little envelope, but the envelope shows who we have, so I didn't wanna show you guys that yet. But you just put that in the stand, and then you can display or just have it sitting up. And let's see who we have. Oh, okay. Is this like, I think it's going to be like a parakeet. So, but I don't know. Are those cheeks or tears? I think they're cheeks. Yeah, because they have like the color cheeks. But it smells so much like chocolate right now. Like now that it's opened, 
definitely a chocolate scent. So super, super cute. I've always wanted to get um, two parakeets, one like the green and yellow like this, and then one blue and white. And I wanted to name the one that looks like this Mountain Dew. And I wanted to get the, um, the blue and white one and I wanted to name it Pepsi. So I had like Pepsi and Mountain Dew. So I really like Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew I think is my favorite soda, so. But there it is. And we can put him in here for now. It's probably gonna be a little bit too tall. He'll cover up our bunny. Here we go, oh, okay. Twigs the parakeet. And it does look like it's chocolate, so we'll find out. Each one has its own pun. It is chocolate. I was really good at that one. Somebody told me you're amazing. They are so super cute. I love the little puns, and it's shaped like a little, um, like a little um, envelope. Yeah. So I think it was really cute, like that they did this. They did change it, but um, if you've got like a little mailbox, these are cute to just put in there. And our checklist. I think this is probably going to be a common. I could be wrong. Nope. I'm right. I was gonna say I could be wrong, but it shows all different scents. And then the single pack pick me, pick me pops, um, it is right here. So Twigs the Parakeet is chocolate number 2-209. So I did not, I have never got a bunny ever. And I know that there was a lot of bunny commons in like, I think series one maybe, but never got one. The newest series, the donut shaped ones, it's like the super hard one to get, so. I don't know that I'll be getting it. If I got really, really lucky, then maybe I would, but I don't I don't know, guys. It's gonna be really hard. I don't know if this will sit very well, but we'll try. There we go. He kinda you can kinda see him. He's peeking out a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that's he's, that's as good as he's gonna get. So I will show you guys one thing I have. I'm gonna be adding this cotton candy flavored lip balm. This just caught my eye. I love the pink and blue colors together, and I mean, it's candy, like the big word right there. Just I was like, oh, what is it? And so I had to look. But um, it's got the rock candy lollipops, and I don't know what that's supposed to be. Maybe like, I think it's supposed to be a lollipop. That is like one of those rainbow swirl ones, but it's only blue and then like whipped cream. So I thought it was gonna, oh look, okay, this is cotton candy. I was like, it should have a picture of cotton candy, but there it is. So taste beauty, they're always really good. Like good sense, good taste. So this, super cute. So that will be in there so you guys can pick it. All right, are you guys ready? Three questions and we will start right now. So in Disney's Princess and the Frog movie, what is the name of the prince? So in Disney's Princess and the Frog movie, what is the name of the prince? Please spell correctly. Disney's Princess and the Frog. What is the name of the prince? <laughs> that makes me hungry. That makes me hungry too, Josefina. Okay, so Yeet Skeet is the first one to come in with an answer of Naveen, spelled correctly. Kika's World said Naveen, but it wasn't quite spelled correctly. Um, and then, let's see. Uh, oh, hi, Maya. Maya, Maya, Maya Moonicorn came in. I haven't seen you for a while. I'm so glad you came too. Um, after that, Josefina Ramirez came in with Naveen. Then so many toys, then Ruby. Oh, she just retracted it. But um, so we got Yeet Skeet, I believe. I have someone that likes to say Yeet a lot. So Yeet Skeet. Yeet Skeet. And then, let's see. Josefina, Josefina Ramirez. All right, so here we go. There's Yeet Skeet. And Josefina Ramirez. Okay, question number two, you guys. In the new Captain Marvel movie, there's a cat, kind of, but what is its name? So in the Captain Marvel movie, there's a cat. It's kind of a cat. But what is its name? And spell this correct too, please. <laughs> All right. So I see, let's see. I don't see anyone. I know it comes in at a little bit of a delay, so. <laughs> I also love LPS, they're just so cute. Oh, I love LPS too, I collect those. So, all right, so I'm seeing 
The first one to have one is So Many Toys Says. Oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. They're all coming in a little bit delayed. Okay, so I should say, it's, it did say in the Captain Marvel movie. So in the Captain Marvel movie, the Captain Marvel movie, you guys, I do have a JoJo question, I do. Okay, so I see two now. So the first one to answer with, um, <laughs> like flashy phone says, yeet. Um, so many toys came in with Goose, and that's the correct answer. In the movie, its name is Goose. I know in the comics, its name is Chewie because it um, reminded her of Chewbacca from Star Wars. So, so many toys, and then I saw someone said Flurkin. That is what it is. It's kind of a cat. It's really just like, it's a Flurkin, but they come disguised as a cat. And then um, Chris McAllister was the next one with Goose. So, so many toys got one, and then Chris, Chris McAllister, so. And it'll take me a little bit longer because I'm doing two and then I'm keeping track. And then Chris McAllister, okay. So many toys. Chris, oh, okay, there it is. McAllister. Here we go, my handwriting's very sloppy today. <laughs> but we can still read it, so that's a plus. All right. <laughs> Give me a like if you like Jojo Sia. Oh my goodness, thank you, Anna Banana. <laughs> You're never late, everybody's just on time. I'm usually late, that's, that's usually what it is. Anna Banana, thank you so much for your support. I really, really appreciate it. Um, Mackenzie Walker said, why did the grapes cross the road? Um, I don't know. I'm not sure. Why did they cross the road? Because it got ran over by a car and make grape juice. Oh, okay. I was thinking something along the lines of it getting smashed too to make some grape juice or something, but I didn't know what the answer was going to be. <laughs> um, my website is called www.sugarbunnyhops.com. So the same as my YouTube name. All right. We've got one more question. And yes, I am left-handed. I actually can write with both but I write neater with my left hand, so ambidextrous. Um, all right, third question, you guys. What is the last date JoJo will be performing on her dream tour? So give me the month and day, please. What is the last month and day that JoJo C will be, will be performing on her tour? <laughs> Ooh, Alan Walker. I think that's the one I like. I like Alan Walker's song. So, um, let's see. So what is the last date Jojo will be performing on her dream tour? All right, I see Yeet Skeet got it. Yeet Skeet got it. And um, then Faith said May. Anna Banana said August 20th. So Anna Banana was the second one that came in. So she's got like two legs of her tour. One ended in like July and then she starts again and ends in um, Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. So Yeet Skeet, that's your second one there. And then Anna Banana. There you go. <laughs> Good job, you guys. All right, so that is three questions. And um, let's see, which one of these should we open next? Oh, okay, Ruby says, Sugar Bunny, guess what? Um, you got a new LOL Surprise doll. That is my guess. What is it, Ruby? <laughs> oh, Yeet Skate says, thanks, and she can't wait to get my merch. That is very, very sweet. I'm making more stuff. I'm trying out new things, and, um, and um, yeah, I wanna, I'll show you guys in a little bit. I'm actually looking at it. I, I love the way they turn out. It's pretty cool. All right, so let's see. I am seeing the Lego. I saw Lego first. Oh, uh, JoJo's best friend followed her on Instagram. That is super, super cool. It's always nice when like a celebrity follows you. That's pretty nice. 
All right, so Lego Unikitty. There's one Lego character in here, and I did get this one. Not my favorite, but I still like Unikitty and collect them. So um, I think that you're pretty much going to be on your own as far as these go. I don't think there's any kind of hack. The placement in the box, maybe, but I've never seen anyone unbox a full one of these. Um, the tail on this one's a little bit different, but you can see the shapes are like all the same. Like the tail is the same shape. It's all got the horn, the same kind of pieces. So it was the other kind of Lego blind bags. Like they have one that's like shaped like a hot dog or a watermelon or like different figures. Sometimes you can kind of feel the different shapes in there, but this one you're, you're on your own. Um, but yeah, and then that's the back for you. So we will cut this open with the scissors. Oh, I found them. I knew I had them, but usually I have them on the right side because even though I'm left-handed, I do everything else as if I'm a right-handed person. So it was very confusing in school because they would ask who's left-handed and they would give me left-handed scissors and I could not cut with them. So I stopped raising my hand. <gasps> I got a double. I got the same one that I got last time. I recognize the outfit, like the paparazzi one. So I'll just leave this in the bag, but we will look at the checklist. So that's a little bit of a bummer. My brother actually collects Legos, so I might end up giving that to him. So, Unikitty checklist, and I believe it might, oh yeah, it is a checklist, okay. So yeah, this is the one we got. I would love the raging, angry, crazy one. I like her little cute one, the dinosaur one, that one, the dog one. I mean, there's like so many, this one I think is like my least favorite. But um, here we go, I love this one. The sprinkles and ice cream one. This is a camo one, that's kinda cute. This I'm not quite sure. I think it's supposed to be like a lizard because there's like a little tongue sticking out. Purple is my favorite color. I don't know, she's kind of being like drama there or something. She's sick. And then there's like a chocolate, I don't know, sundae maybe, melted with sprinkles, but pretty cute. So yeah, there's one, two, three with a ball tail. So you could feel for the, or no, four, I'm sorry, one, two, three, four. I just skipped right over that. But then the rest have the regular tail, even though it's sideways there on the bottom too. It's the same shape, so. But this is what that side looks like. Is that the same one? I don't know why it looks so cute right here. Like, I think that's kind of the same face as this, but it's just not as cute <laughs> on the actual figure. But he doesn't have like that outfit on right there, so. All right, moving on, I will show you something else that I'm throwing in there. So these bracelets were super popular. I have got another one to throw in there. So this one's just, uh, I guess, white with the little blue thing. So King Ali. So there you go. That is a bracelet added to it. And um, let's see three new questions. Are you guys ready? Someone says, guess what, Sugar Bunny? Oh, no. My guess is always somebody got a new toy, but somebody just got someone following them. So should I guess that this time? Did somebody famous follow you on Instagram? Let me see, I gotta get your name back. It's Paris D Gaming. Mm, something with gaming. Maybe you did like the best score, high score on your game. <laughs> you love that bracelet. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> yeah, I pick whoever the first two people are on my screen who get ever answer correctly, so. Um, oh, so many toys is wearing that one. So yeah, she picked a lot of them. So um, you want to be in the giveaway. So if you're one of the first two people to answer correctly on my questions here, then your name gets answered. Um, let's see. Let's see. You like puppies. Oh, it's Paris D Gaming said she likes puppies. All right. So here is the next question. What is the 15th letter in the alphabet? You can just do a single letter. <laughs> I have a feeling like I thought this one might cause some um, my um, some controversy. Like someone might just go all the letters like at once. So just do one letter, and then um, I don't know. People are gonna. Oh, okay. Well, here we go. People are doing it. Okay. So I think that. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll take that one. So I've got two already. Let's see. Um, Maya Moonicorn said O, oh, and then Yeet Sikit said K, it's actually O, oh. and then Anna Banana said O, oh. she wrote it out O-H, like O, oh. so the way that it sounds, so I'll credit that. So um, after that, I'll read off a few that had it right. That's uh, going crazy, it's so many answers right now. Um, 
Let's see. Well, Yeet Ski came in with K between and a banana money coin. Uh, but I already said that. So then Gra Gracie Lee said, oh, hello, Gracie Lee. I know who you are. Then Yeet Ski said, I think I maybe, or is that an L? It's a capital I or a lowercase L. And then Ruby, oh, Ruby said J. And a banana then said O. Then Callie Sparkle said O. C100 Chloe said O. The Funky Drama Queen said I. So um, this one goes to Maya Moonicorn. Moonicorn. And a banana. And this is your second one. Oh, the puppies want to talk to me. All right. So, someone said, In my heart, I love your eyes. Mackenzie Walker said, Your eyes are blue, just like the sky. My eyes are also, are actually brown. They're brown. Um, I don't have blue eyes. I always wanted blue eyes, but you know, as I get older, I'm, I'm pretty happy. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Okay, sorry, I was reading the comments, but I had to read one w without reading it out loud, so. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, I call it, I say a few of the answers, even though I don't write them all down, um, all the names, I do let you guys know how I'm seeing them in the chat, so. Um, I do write down the two that were the top two, though. So, uh, next question. What is the name of the Shopkins Series 6 called? Series 6, guys, because I know that I have one on my website that asks for a different one, but this one is for Series 6. So what is sh the theme of Shopkins Series 6 called? <laughs> Thank you, Alexis. Okay, Shopkins Series 6. You memorize the alphabet backwards. You know, I don't know if I can even do that. I know a lot of people can do the alphabet backwards really quick, but I, I don't know. I've never been able to do it. So, um, Shopkins Series 6. Series 6, guys. Oh, I see one. Let's see if we get one more. I have brown eyes, too. It's Paris D Gaming says. She's got brown eyes, too. All right. Um, so I see two. Um, Gracie Lee said party. Uh, it's not party. See when Ada Chloe said wedding party. Then Gracie Lee said join the party. Um, I think someone said I don't know, but different letter. But um, Faith and then Drum Queen said party. I'll skip down until I see the first one. So many toys said Chef Club, and that is correct. And then after that, um, I saw Wild Style Party Wild. Um, Party Princess, then the next one to say Chef's Club was C. Wayne and her Chloe. So let me go back up and get this. Uh, ooh, where did it go? Okay, so many toys. And that is your second. So here we go. And then C. Wayne and her Chloe, I believe, correct? Where did it go? There you go. Yeah. Oh, now it disappeared. Um, ah, okay, there it is. C18 or Chloe. Just making sure. All right. Here you are. Good job, you guys. So, yeah, I see party time. I see a couple other things. But yeah, it's, um, it is Chef Club. So, um... I, I tried to look up the earlier, earlier ones, and some of them didn't even like have themes. But I have a lot of the. I think I started season two collecting um, Shopkins, so I have a lot of the older ones. Um, thank you guys. Um, Alexis asked, um, "What is my full name?" My full name is a secret. I don't know if I'll ever give out my full name. I don't know. Maybe, maybe one day, but not anytime soon, guys. So Josefina says so she loves me so much. Thank you. That's super sweet. Um, and our last question, yep, and our last question for this, these three, not for the whole thing, just these three at a time. So, in Disney's movie Tangled, what does Rapunzel use as a weapon that is not a normal weapon? So Rapunzel uses something quite often, it's not really a normal kind of weapon to defend herself, but she uses it, so what is it? <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, I have, let's see, I have 
someone. Um, so Yeet Skeet came in with Pan. Then Kika's World came in with Pan. Then Josefina said Pan. Then Somebody Toy said Frying Pan. Then Ruby Carrera said saucepan. See, when Aunt Chloe said her hair, her hair's not really a weapon. I mean, she does use it for things to help her around, but what I was thinking of is a frying pan. So um, the first two on that one were the uh, were Yeet Skeet and Kika's World. Yeet Skeet, that is your third. Then Kika's World. There we go. All right, we are on to our next blind bag. <laughs> um, okay, which one would you guys like me to open? Yeah, I know it's confusing because sometimes it shows, it's, well, I know it shows different on everybody's screen. That's why I decided to just do it off of mine. But um, yeah, I've, that's why I tried to make it also more, um, I guess kind of fair for everybody. I do two of the names and then I do limit it to five per person. So keep trying because the odds are better now. So um, let's see, what are we gonna open up? The, the cupcake, okay, so I see cupcake and this is my first time actually opening up one of these. So a mini cupcake surprise. There's like a little doll in it. I've seen them before, but this one is, what is this? What is this scented like? I know I saw it before. What are you scented like? Okay, so the top is like this, but it says vanilla. Let me see. I don't know if I can agree that that's vanilla. It kind of smells like fruity. I don't know, I don't know. But it does say that, that with that top that it's supposed to be vanilla. You know, it's right here, it's right here. I think it's supposed to be strawberry. It's a pink one. So I think it's supposed to be strawberry. I was gonna say, it doesn't smell like vanilla, but we'll get it open. Um, it's kind of obvious, I guess, what you have. I don't know if the dolls inside if like each one is different, but there might be like two that have the same kind of top, but I have never opened one before, so I am not sure. I have nothing to compare it to. I really like the way that the little thing looks right here. Oh, there's stuff inside. We'll leave it here. Okay. So it's a little hat, the top is. It has a little stretchy cord. And here is our doll. So we flip it inside out to make the bottom of her dress. I'm making this look a lot more difficult than it actually is. It's actually kind of easy, but there you go. Love this translucent pink. It's hot pink with glitter in it. You can see it too, cool. And then let's see, her arms are poseable. That was weird, it like went up at the same time. It's actually, you can make her look like she's running really quick. It reminds me of in Mario Brothers how the princess has the dress and she would just kind of float. I think it's Super Mario Brothers too. So it's real hair. Well, real, quote, real hair. So just like the new Ella of Surprise dolls. And pink and purple top. And then her hat will just go on top of her like this. So that's kind of cute. Kind of reminds me of like a, a garden fairy but without the wings. Just the way they have like these big huge hats. So and she will go there and we will check because I believe there's a checklist. Yay for checklists. All right, it's nice and small. So I guess this is, so if you're looking at these, this is, okay, it's series two one. So if you're looking at getting one of these, here's kind of like a little hack. These are the different um, colored bottoms to it. And the names are super small. So the one that I got was Tasha right here. But the blue, it's like an orange, purple, the hot pink, kind of like this green. I think it's like a dark hunter green, this uh, light brown, I think, kind of like a caramel color, light blue, yellow, then uh, purple. It's kind of like a brighter purple. This one's like a dark, I don't know, that's hard to describe. It's like a brighter purple, but that's more like a realistic purple I don't know um, like a like a hot green kind of uh, another yellow that's kind of really close this is almost golden this one's a bright yellow and then like an orange so there are the different dolls right there if you were collecting them or wanted to collect them nothing on the back but that leads us to I guess I'll just show you this so I'm throwing in another doll I know a few of them had gotten picked so here is a new choice there 
So if you'd like that, if you win, then you can go ahead and pick it. Um, let's see. <laughs> all right, let's see. How do I keep all of these cool toys? I don't keep them all. Um, yeah, let's see. I'm pretty sure that one has a scent. Yeah, it does. It does smell like strawberry. It does. It smells like strawberry. So we are on to the next. Oh, how do I keep them like that? Okay, I'm sorry, I'm gonna answer. So I keep a lot of mine in containers. <laughs> I have so many toys and I don't have any display stands, but it also gets really dusty. So um, I will bring out like a few at a time and put them around like my desk or just little places all over my house. And that's how I display them a little bit at a time because if I had them all out, then they would get so dusty and like, it's just gross. But um, yeah, so that's how I display my toys. I used to have more shelves and stuff, but um, I do need to set up some more. I actually want to get one of those, um, what's it called? The, they're like china cabinets. I can't think of what it's called, like a curio cabinet. So it's got like a glass front so that the dust won't go in there or it tries not to. So, um, all right, next three questions. Are you guys ready? Here we go. In what year did Jaden Siwa start dating his girlfriend, Claire? <laughs> you guys are asking for more Jojo and Jaden questions, so there you go. So in what year did Jaden Siwa start dating his girlfriend, Claire? <laughs> you have so many toys, do ya? All right, see someone with Chef Club. You're getting shells soon, see? I've got, I've got something I actually am gonna set up soon. All right, so I see Yeet Skeet came in with 2018, then Sealand and her Chloe, then Anna Bananas 2018, then Gracie Lee said 2018, and so many toys, Erica Eblin, everybody's getting, well, actually I take that back, there's one wrong year. The Funky Drama Queen, um, then Kylie Sparkle said 17, Gracie Lee said 2018, then Ruby, then Anna, then Kate Gets World. There's so many people that got it, but the first two that I saw, if it will let me go back up, here we go, where Yeet Skeet, and that is your fourth entry. And then C18 or Chloe, and that's your second one. So good job, you guys. Oh, I put an S on the end there, I don't know why, but I crossed it off, so here you go. Yeet Skeet and C18 or Chloe. All right, next question, you guys. You ready? <laughs> um, it shows up so much earlier for me, yeah, cool. All right, so next question. What is the name of the fourth Harry Potter movie? So Harry Potter and what? They all start with Harry Potter and, and then something. So Harry Potter and what, guys? The name of the fourth Harry Potter movie. And spell this right, please. <laughs> You are very welcome, Kenzie. Don't keep, don't give up. Keep trying. So the fourth Harry Potter movie, Harry Potter and what? Harry Potter and what for the fourth movie, guys? The fourth one, the fourth one. Harry Potter number four. Boom, number four. Let's see. All right, so I've got two now. Um, so I saw someone write the Half-Blood Prince. It's not the Half-Blood Prince, um, the stone, nope. It is the Goblet of Fire. So many toys grab that. And then Funky Drama Queen's a Half-Blood Prince, but that's not it. So did Kylie Sparkle's Half-Blood Prince. I saw a lot of Half-Blood Prince. Um, Anna Banana said Half-Blood Prince. Uh, then Erica Eblen said Goblet of Fire. So it is the Goblet of Fire. It's Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire for the fourth movie. So the first one to get that was um, So Many Toys. Gotta be honest, I would not have remembered. <laughs> I had to look it up. So if you guys remember that without having to look it up, you guys are big, big fans. So Many Toys, that is your third one. And then, let's see, Erica Ablin, that is your first. Eblin, I think, L-I-N. Yeah, I don't think it's an A. So Erica Evelyn, there you go. Now we'll write that down. Okay, so this is our last question for these three, and then we'll open up another blind bag, and then we'll show a prize, and then get on to three more questions. So, 
In Super Mario Brothers, what is the name of the small brown mushroom enemy? I believe this one I did have on my site. This one I did have on my website, so this one should be easy. Don't be sad, guys. So spell spell this one correctly too, guys. All right, so I'm saying I'm seeing it come through. I see, I think a lot of you guys either knew it or you did check my site. So thank you guys for that. So um, first one was let's see, G O M B A. Okay, so Goombas. It is Goombas. Um, C one eight or Chloe got it. Then Erica Eblin. I see a couple more. So Goomba, then Toad, then Goomba. So many toys. Um, there was a couple. I see a couple more. <laughs> So what's a scrummy? What's a scrummy? Um, at least we all tried. Yes, just keep trying guys, don't worry. I've got a lot of questions and then I pick two from each. So there's a lot more chances and then limiting it to five per person. So a lot more people will be able to participate. So uh, first one was um, boop, 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 boop. Yeet Skeet. And that is your fifth one. So you can keep guessing, but I won't be able to put any more entries. I'll have to take the next person in. So good job, though. Yeet Skeet. There you go. And then next one is, I believe it was, is it do 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 do? Um. Suminator Chloe. All right, there we go. Suminator Chloe. That is your third one. All right, guys. I think I'd missed that first one before. So I was doing spelling, yeah, I was doing spelling. So it was Goomba or Goombas, because especially on the ones that I put on my website, you guys have time to look up the answer. And so you definitely should be getting the spelling right. So um, it also helps like when people are really fast typers, um, then I make sure that you guys are typing it right. So why not spelling? Spelling is, is uh, good. So that was the third one for that. And we will open up a new blind bag. Which one shall we do? We've got Barbie, Calico Critters, The Little Lucky Lunchbox, Pony, like My Little Pony, um, Mashems, Feisty Pets, The Little Kinder Joy right here. And I think that's that's it for the blind bag part. So, can I do more easy questions? I do have some kind of easy questions. It just depends. So, um, I do have a lot of the questions on my website. So, if you check, I know it's behind this week. There was a few things I had to take care of, but um, I did get a little bit behind. So, I'm going to keep up um, from now on, though, this week. Um, so, check every day. I'll add two new questions. And so, you'll be able to study them, get the answers in advance. And that should be easy. Just got to be quick at typing after that. So, um, yeah, but uh, another thing is you can, um, when this video posts, put in the comments on the video, not in the chat here, but put me, um, put some questions that you'd like me to ask about, like, um, I don't know, maybe a movie that you like or different TV shows or toys even. So I do a little surprise questions, um, sometimes. So, all right. Um, you don't think Yeet Skeet spelled the right. Let me, let me look up above. I will check, but I'm pretty sure. Goomba. G-O-O-M-B-A. Goomba. That's spelled correctly. So, all right. Um, <laughs> oh, Anna Banana said she's wearing my merch. So, Anna Banana actually, um, and I did mean to email you, but then I saw that you'd ordered the shirt and not the stuff that I'd made. So the stuff that I'd made was the stuff I was going to email you about. Um, but yeah, I don't even actually have one of my own t-shirts, but you actually ordered the same exact color that I was going to order for myself. So I haven't ordered one yet, but I'm going to be, and that's going to be the one. So she got a, a Heather purple colored one. It's kind of like purple, like a light purple with little, um, kind of, I don't say spots, but little specks through it that are kind of like white. So it looks kind of cool. They call it like Heather. So, um, all right. Yeah, I, I would love to see it. If you can take a picture of it, I, you don't have to take a picture of it on you if you didn't want to, but if, that'd be cool. I'd love to see what it looks like. Um, all right, let's see, let's see, let's see. I see Barbie, Barbie, Barbie. Okay, so Barbie. This is gonna be the second one of these that I open. Um, these are really, really pretty. I love the packaging and these are only a dollar, you guys, a dollar. Barbie is usually, I mean, it's not too much, but I mean, I would have, I was thinking that this was going to be like at least $3. So 
Um, for a dollar, this is like a great deal. So usually I find them in the bins, there's no like box placement, but it's made of cardboard and there's nothing blocking it. So you can kind of feel what you've got. Um, I believe inside of this one there is the big bag. I think it's the, uh, they don't have it, it's the checklist inside. So you can get like an accessory, like a bag or a glasses or a necklace or like an outfit, but the thing does show. And the last one, I did get one of the outfits. Those are the harder ones to get, but you can kind of hear or feel like the accessory one is really jiggly and loose, but this is really like thick. It's almost like the full width of the thing. You can't squish it very much. And I know that that one was like the bigger one based on the picture. So we'll open it up and find out. All right, so if you guys want the unicorn one, I believe that's gonna be the biggest one. So it's a kitty corn, unicorn power, and I don't believe this opens up. I don't think the purse opens up. I'm not gonna, yeah, no, it doesn't open up. But it's translucent, glittery, and it's super pretty. So for a dollar, you guys, I mean, this is super cute. Really, really adorable. But uh, yeah, just a little purse for Barbie doesn't open which is a bummer because I remember I had some things in Barbie when I was growing up that they did open and you could put little things in it. I think I used to put like M&Ms in it. I love candy for forever you guys so the little M mini M&Ms when those first came out. <laughs> but um, yeah they don't do that so much anymore. Some things but not this one unfortunately. But here are the different things. It's a very small checklist so the purses you can definitely feel that it's got that little um, like I don't know, uh, not charm, what am I thinking? Like the strap, there we go, the strap. And then like a heart, or the star shape. The ice cream cone is really long strap with the little ice cream, you can feel it. And then this comes with something, like a little accessory, but yeah, the purse, the bag, and this is the biggest one. So again, these accessory ones, when I was, you know, shaking them, you can hear those. So you can definitely tell if it has one of those. Now these, you can totally feel this one super easy. I've gotten um, both of these. Actually, this might be my third one that I opened. Yeah, this is my third one. So um, you can feel the little thing and then you can kind of feel between the, the cardboard if there's like a little piece of like fabric I want to say. You can just, if you're good at like feeling things, like you can feel that it's thin but that there's still something there and it's not hard plastic so you'll be able to feel that it's like fabric. So um, that is my hack for you guys. Um, yeah, that's about it. But the other side just shows more of that cute, just bright colors. Rainbows and unicorns and sprinkly donuts. So really 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 cute love it so and I will show you here we go <laughs> I keep adding these there I think they're really cute they're just like little plush clips little backpack clips this is caught my eye little cat with a little hot coffee he's got his glasses and his bow tie I I'm assuming it's a guy it's a guy cat maybe it's a girl cat but uh, yeah there you go just plush and that's it so that will be in there you guys would like to pick that if you win. All right, <laughs> you got the same thing, Sugar Linda? What? Which one? Oh, you got the, um, yeah, I think, yeah, let's see. Oh, just, <laughs> I left it here. Yeah, I did, I saw you guys got that too. Um, let's see. You have five, someone has five of them. Five of them for a dollar? Oh, for a dollar, good deal, okay. I read two different comments. I was like, yeah, five for a dollar? That's a really good deal. A dollar, yes, they are only a dollar. Um, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. <laughs> Chat goes a bit faster. Okay, so here is the next question. In My Little Pony, Apple Bloom, Sweetie Belle, and Scootaloo formed a club called what? So those three ponies, Apple Bloom, Sweetie Belle, and Scootaloo formed a club. What did they call the club? You guys should get spelling on this one, so be careful how you're typing it. So they formed a club. What is the club called? So all the words, guys, all the words. <laughs> oh no, he just changed your name. Somebody just changed their name, now I have no idea who they are. All right, so I see, I'm, I'm looking for all words, all words, all words. All right, Anna Benet had Cutie Crusaders, but it's Cutie Mark Crusaders. The next one right there was Stan Goings. Um, so Stan Goings and then Gracie Lee said Cutie Crusaders was looking for Cutie Mark Crusaders because that's the full name of their club. Um, then C1 Under Chloe said the same thing, the Funky Drama Queen, they both forgot the Mark as well. So Kylie Sparkles said Cutie Mark Crusaders. So for that, it is going to, 
Um, let's do Stan Goings. I think you're new here. Welcome. <laughs> Stan Goings and then Kylie Sparkles. Stan, oh, Goings and Kylie Sparkles. Sorry, I gotta write it down. And there you go. And this one. So good job, you guys. And... All right, so next question. In Disney's Cars movie, what is the name of Sally's Motel? So spelling on this one, guys. And it's got more than one word, so make sure you get both the words. So in Disney's Cars movie, what is the name of Sally's Motel? What is the name of Sally's Motel in the Disney Cars movie? <laughs> I actually go here when I go to um, the Disneyland um, California Adventure. They don't call it the California Adventure. Maybe they do. Yeah, I think they still do but they don't have like all California themes anymore. They've changed it quite a bit. All right, so the first person I saw to get it was Felicia Loves You got Cozy Cone. And then I see Tozy Town. I'm not sure where that is. Um, someone said Lightning McQueen, then Route 66, Lightning McQueen. Stan Going said Cozy Cone. So good job, you guys. After that was so many toys said Cozy Cone, Funky Drama Queen said Lightning McQueen, EAH Dolls Collector said Cozy Cone, then So Many Toys said Comfy Cone. It is the Cozy Cone. So the first two on that one were, let's go back up, Felicia Loves You. Loves You, and then Stan Goings. There you are. So that's your second one, Stan. Good job. And we have one more question for this three. I always say that and I think people may be panicked, but no, it's just for this three, then we'll open up another blind bag, then ask some more questions. So, what is the first and last name of Jessalyn Siwa's sister? And spelling does count for this one. I believe this one was on my website. So. <laughs> I see someone said, hello, Pup313. Hello, Pup313. <laughs> what is the first and last name of Jessalyn Siwa's sister? All right, I see people coming up with the answer real quick. All right, so the first two were, so I gotta scroll back up. So Gracie Lee said Tessa Medinger, and then Stan Goings said Tessa Medinger. So yes, those were the first two that came in. Then Anna said Castle Lombardi. But I'm not sure who that is. Um, then So Many Toys said Tessa Med Medinger, and then um, see when Chloe said it, she got it, and then Ruby got it, and then uh, then it's Funky Drama Queen got it, and then Kylie Sparkles got it. So you guys did the spelling right, so thank you guys. You guys are getting this. So, um, but the first two for that one were Gracie Lee. And then Stan Goings. <laughs> That's an unusual name. Maybe it's got a meaning to it. So Gracie, that was your first one. Stan, this is your third. You're on a roll right now. All right, so we are on, oh, okay, that was three questions. All right, so um, next blind bag. What would you guys like to see? Aww. I'm doing this for your sister. You don't know any of the answers. Oh, that's really sweet. Yeah, some of them are, it's very broad questions. So it just depends on what you know about. So, 
All right. Um, oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeet, skeet. All right, cool. So let's see. Little critters. Okay, so I see calico critters, you guys. Calico critters. So you guys really, really like this. And I know I said that last time, but I just can't believe how popular these are. So Calico Critters Baby Band Series. There are eight to collect. I've collected a good number of these. I know I've got this one. I've got this one. I've got this one. And this one. So I think, was that four of them? I need this one, this one, this one, and this one. So I've got half. So um, this is, um, yeah, I don't know, you, you can kind of feel it. But um, other than that, that's, uh, they're, they're usually in a bin. There's no box that I've ever seen them come in. But it has a piece of cardboard on the inside, as you'll see, and then also like a little styrofoam kind of like wrapping. So it's pretty hard to tell. Um, I mean, you might be able to kind of push it out of the cardboard, but don't open them at the store, you guys. I hate when I see the toys open. It just ruins it. Um, but there are different names for them. Yeah, I've got the Daisy Maple Cat, um, a Jason Cuddle Bear, Shiloh the Yellow Labrador and Henry Sweet Pea Rabbit. So I'm pretty sure that's all I have that I don't have the other ones yet. So, but we will see who I have today. Where'd my scissors go? I found them. They are on my lap. Kind of dangerous, a little bit dangerous, but I'm being safe. Okay. And there's that cardboard and a checklist. Oh, I still need my scissors. Here we go. Oh. Oh, I think it's a new one. I think it's a new one. I think that I saw who it was. Okay. Come out, come out, come out, come out. Slowly, slowly. Okay, here we go. Oh, ow. That hurt a little bit. And here it is. Is it a chipmunk? I think it's a chipmunk. A little bit of this looks a little messed up. Maybe it's just brushed the wrong way. All right, so I'm gonna do something real quick. There we go. Start that over. So, it came with a little yellow outfit. You can take them off and change them, but I think you gotta pretty much have another doll that's the same kind of style for body, because if you get one that's sitting, I don't know how well it's gonna do, but the arms are poseable. I don't know if I ever did that before. I think maybe, yeah. The head turns, do the feet, do the legs. Oh, the legs do move, oh my goodness, okay, so. But it's a little bit difficult in this outfit, but the legs do move. So they came with a symbol, a star-shaped symbol. Not like S-M-Y-B-O-L, but like the symbols that you play, the musical instruments. Maybe I will get it out of the bag today. Yes, I did, today. So star with some little silver symbols in there. So, I don't know, I think he just kind of like put it on his hand. Yeah, there you go. Very easy. <laughs> so, and it does stay. You can tilt it and stuff without it falling off, worrying about that. But little chipmunk, super cute. And we'll put you right here. If you stand, maybe you need to have help. Ugh. Okay, there we go. He's good right there. I'm pretty sure it's a he. So, there's the checklist. Not too many to collect, which is nice. When it's like 100 and something, it's a little bit crazy. But we got Luke Hazelnut, so yes, with the tambourine. Okay, it's a tambourine, I'm sorry, not cymbals, tambourine. Cymbals are the other thing in the percussion. They're like big and round and circular. I don't know why I was thinking that. So, tambourine. <laughs> but um, yeah, so now I've got three more to collect. So these are the different ones. I have not got the bunny yet, but I did get this one, which I really like the bunny drum. So I was happy about that. But I do need the other bunny, because I like bunnies apparently some of the play sets and then um yep the fronts all right and i'll show you something else so i had a whole bunch of these and i'm just like getting rid of them slowly so uh it's one of those little rubber bracelets it says stuck up with a diamond so kind of very sassy like lol surprise dolls are so if you like it then there you go you can pick it and it will be yours all right three new questions you guys <laughs> you ready you do find Fridays better, but Saturdays are okay. So yeah, yeah, it just depends. Uh, if you love Sugar Bunny Hops, and she's the best YouTuber ever, heart it. Oh, that's super sweet, thank you. Oh yeah, if you guys haven't liked it yet, go ahead and click like for me, that'd be awesome. So here is another question, a brand new one. Harry Potter um, and the Half-Blood 
Uh, Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince is what number movie? So, Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince is what number movie? It's number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, number hundred. Like, which one is it? <laughs> I think they've got nine? I'm not sure, because I think there was like a part one, part two. So, what number is it? Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince is what number movie? All right, I see. I see two. Okay, so Anna Banana said five, and it's actually six. And the person to get that, the next one was Stan Goings. Kylie said three, then she said two, then Josephina said six, and it is. Then Kika's World said two, Stan Goings then said two, then Kylie Sparkle said five. Uh, Funky Drama Queen said five, Felicia Loves You said three, but it was six, guys. So, the first two to get it were Stan Goings, and that is your fourth Stan. So, Stan Goings, and then Josefina Ramirez. Maybe it's Josefina. Josefina? Josefina? And that is your second. Good job. Here you go. Stan. And then Josefina. I think both ways are, are pronounced correctly. It just depends on if you've got the accent or not. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. Um, all right. Okay, so here's the next question. In Jojo Siwa's Kid in a Candy Store song, what is the next line of lyrics after these words? So I want the full line that comes next, not the rest of the song, but the next line. So, bubblegum, gumdrop. Then what are the next words, guys? What is the next line of lyrics? You can tell that it goes together, so spelling does count because these are all easy words. So, bubblegum, gumdrop. Then what are the next words? So the exact words, guys. So in Jojo Siwa's Kid in a Candy Store song, what is the next line of lyrics after these words? Bubblegum, gumdrop, and then what? <laughs> I see a lot of interesting things. I see, I see a couple right. So the first one to get it exactly correct was Gracie Lee said, drop it like a lollipop. Don't drop your lollipops though, that is bad. Don't drop it, it will not be good. It will probably shatter get hair and dirt all over it and so Gracie Lee was the first one and that is your second I believe see I gotta find your name on there oh I just tossed my pen there you go so Gracie Lee or maybe I just spelled that wrong but okay I might put L-E-E -E and I put L-E-A okay sorry yeah that's oh no okay that's your second one yeah and then um Let's see. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's see. Sorry about that, guys. Take care of something. And so Gracie was the first one to have it exactly correct. And the next one, I'm going to scroll it through. I see dropping like a lollipop, but it's drop it like a lollipop. Drop in like a lollipop. Not that. Drop in like a lollipop. Never let the craving stop. Yeah, it's... um. Drop it like a lollipop. So jumping like a lollipop. That's interesting. Felicia Loves You says, drop it like a lollipop. Yep, that was it. So Felicia Loves You. How many of you guys think that you know the words to songs and you're singing it and you're singing it and finally one day you actually see like a video with the lyrics and you're like, oh my goodness, I've been singing that wrong like the whole time. I do that all the time. Like, I'll think that I know the words, and like, there's even a song that I was singing for like four or five years, and I heard it on the radio, and then I looked it up, and I was like, oh my goodness, like, those were not the right words. I've been singing it wrong. I wonder how many people are like, oh my gosh, she doesn't know the words. But yeah, oh well, I was fun. I had fun singing it, you know, I was happy. So, yeah, drop it like a lollipop. So, those are the two. So, Felicia loves you, that's your two. And we are on the last question for these group of three. Are you ready? Spelling does count for this one, by the way, too. What actress plays Princess Audrey in Descendants 3? I know this one was on my website. Denoshi says, do you guys want to know how I came up with my name? 
Yes, to know too. We want to know how you came up with your name. How did you come up with your name? After Gracie, that's not correct. Well, it's okay. I'll know if it's Gracie Lee. Oh, it's L E A. No, yeah, it's it's uh, Gracie L E A. I spelt it right. So, um, check it, man. I did. Drop it like a lollipop. Drop it like a lollipop. Yeah, drop it like a lollipop. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Drop it like a lollipop. She did it right. She got it right. Okay, um, let's see, let's see, let's see. So the question was, what actress plays Princess Audrey in Descendants 3? I see Timothy Spall, Mo. And then I see Sarah Jeffrey, which is correct, but, oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Jeffrey, Jeffrey, okay, spelling was on this one, so see when I close it's Sarah Jeffrey, but we didn't spell it right, so Sarah Jeffrey, Jeffrey. Felicia loves you, got it, Sarah Jeffrey. And then so many toys got it. So it's J E F F E R Y. So, so Felicia loves you, then so many toys. I always catch it, especially if it's on my uh, website because you guys have the time. So Felicia loves you. And then so many toys. So good job, you guys. Felicia loves you. That is your third one. And then so many toys. That is your fourth. Right. See, it looks a lot more full, doesn't it? Oh, there we go. All right, so that is the last set for those ones. And we open up another blind bag. So we've got the Kinder Surprise, the Feisty Pets, Ponies, um, Mashems, Looney Tunes, and then the Lucky Little Lunchbox. I like to eat my lollipops. I like to eat my lollipops, too. So Denochi says, I put my two favorite things together, dinosaurs and orange chicken. That is super clever. So dino, dino, O, does the dino go for O, the dinosaur, and then the O go for orange chicken? So dino chicken, dinosaur orange chicken. That's super clever. I like that name, Denochi. Um, am I missing something? Oh, yeah, no. Um, it's Paris. We gotta, we gotta watch what we say, okay? Let's keep it um, friendly. Let's keep it nice for everybody to read. Please and thank you. All right, feisty. Thank you, guys. I want to open this. I want to see if I got the bunny. Um, so this is my third one. I've opened up one with a blue container and one with a yellow container. I really, really want Vicky Vicious, but there's a couple others that I like too. But Vicky, I want the whole collection, like all the different kinds of Vickies that they have. So um, I got like a polar bear and a lion. Or no, not a polar bear. I'm sorry. I take that back. Just a regular brown bear, but then a lion. But I love the container for this. It's like a little kennel, but you can see scratch marks. They didn't want to go in or they, after they came out, they clawed it. I don't know, but it has a little handle too. So, I mean, it's just super, super cute. I love any little containers that are like miniatures of anything in real life. So very carefully I'm cutting that open. And here we go. Found these at Target, by the way. And I don't know if there's any hack for these, placement hack or whatever, but you can kind of shine the light through my light. I guess on my phone is not good enough to like show too much of the color. It's a dark gray bag, so it's a little bit hard to tell, but maybe if you had a stronger light, you could tell. So yeah, I mean, look, even right here, like here, I can see it better now that I'm pressing it, but you can't press it against it in the thing. So, oh, feisty pits right there. So yeah, love this. And there is a checklist inside, so if you cut your blind bags like me, be careful. Please, please. No, I got a double. Oh, this is rotten luck because there's so many to collect. But here we go. It looks like he's got like dentures. I don't know. But oh my goodness, I can't believe I got a double. So yeah, there's this little button on the back. You just press down and it makes him do his face so he gets angry eyebrows. Kind of. He's not as angry as the other ones I've seen. And then his um, his teeth show. But the other ones, they have some that like stick out their tongue. Some that have like sharp teeth. Um, like kind of like more like fangs. And so 
Um, I think there might have been something else, but not sure. But these are still really cute. I do like it, even though it's not the one I want. Maybe now that I have a double, maybe I'll repaint him or something. I'm not sure what I'll do with it yet. Oh. Oh, okay, I don't know what, I thought I heard something fall, but we'll check out the checklist in case you guys haven't seen this before. So it comes in different rarities. I know this is a common one. So rare, super rare, ultra rare. So this one, obviously everybody wants because it's a unicorn. And then there's some more, and then more and more and more. And another unicorn, I like the dragon too. And then here, this dragon's super cute ultra rare too. Oh, Glenda Glitter Poop. She's another one of my favorites. And then there, and this is the best one of all. Don't let anybody tell you differently. This is the best one for sure, Vicky Vicious. Everybody wants that one. It's a super ultra rare. Only Sugar Bunny maybe can get it ever. Maybe, maybe. maybe. And um, that kind of looks like a rabbit, but it's Jacked Up Jackie the Kangaroo. So, but yeah, you can see some of them have like, I, they have like teeth on the picture, but they don't have teeth in the thing. So, that's cute. Keep fingers away, so. But yeah, there you go. That's the full checklist on both sides. Series one, so they'll be doing series two, hopefully, because these are super cute. I like them. But I'm bummed that out of all these, I got a double on my third one. Like, what are the odds? Like, so low, but yeah, okay. It was a totally different store, totally different box, too. Um, maybe you can return it to the store and tell them it's not the one you wanted. Uh, I don't know if you can do that for blind bags. I wouldn't want to do that. Uh, that, that'd be kind of sad. I don't know. Like, oh, I know it's a blind bag, but I, it's not the one I wanted, so can I return it? But, um, all right. Um, let's see. So I will show you another thing. So, okay, this actually got picked. So slime. So the store-bought ones are odd. They're different than the homemade slime. I like homemade slime better, but I know a lot of people actually like these. So they're kind of like you can't shape them or anything, but it's kind of just like it like runs. Not runs. I don't know how to describe it. Not very good at this. <laughs> But yeah, it's like a really pretty, like, it's kind of iridescent. It looks like there's glitter in there, but it's not really. So just, I'm gonna use iridescent orange and red. So um, I believe Gracie Lee, Gracie Lee there, she got one of these. So um, I think she's got it by now. But um, we're on to our next three questions. All right, here I will be um, going for spelling. So I believe, oh no, I didn't, yeah, I will still be doing spelling. It's not on my website, but this is, Still, I think kind of easy to spell. We see it a lot of places. So, in My Little Pony, what is Scootaloo? Is she a pony, a unicorn, or a Pegasus? So, in My Little Pony, what is Scootaloo? So, the cartoon series, the new one, not like the old-fashioned one. So, the new cartoon series. In My Little Pony, what is Scootaloo? Is she a pony, a unicorn, or a Pegasus? Oh no! The store tricked you. It's only fair. That's not true, Dinochi. Um, let's see, I'm missing if someone's not being friendly, but just remember, if someone's not having fun, then, then just, um, or if someone's not being nice, then please just ignore. I can't, I can't manage every everything, but I try my best. So, um, I see a few answers, let me see. Um, I see she is a pony. Nope, she's not a pony. Um, that was from Kylie, then Josefina. Nope, she's not a pony. Um, Kiko's World said Pegasus, but it's not Pegasus. Let's see. Kylie Sparkle said Pegasus, but it's not spelled right. Stan said pony. Simonator said pony. Ruby said pony. So Many Toys says Pegasus, and that is correct. So, So Many Toys, you got that one. That's your fifth entry. So, So Many Toys. There you go. So Many Toys said Pegasus. And then the next one said Pegasus. Oh, Felicia Loves, you said Petasus. Um, uh, Denochi said pony. Sugar Bunny Hops 2 says Pegasus. So I'm not sure who Sugar Bunny Hops 2 used to be, but um, you did get it. So Sugar Bunny Hops 2. That's going to be odd if I draw that one out. Sugar Bunny Hops 2. There you go. Oh, Hops. I didn't even write my own name right. Sugar Bunny Hops with a weird looking S2. So there you go. Um, Sugar Bunny Hops 2. Hops 2. Alright. Um, next question, you guys. Name the LOL Surprise Hair Goals doll that has purple hair. 
At Walmart, I was looking at the Roblox clear blue boxes and trying to see which one. And a worker handed me an ass if I was okay because I was staying there for a long time. Yes, Kylie, that happens to me at the store all the time. People are like, are you okay? You know, do you, are you having problems? And then I tell them what I'm doing. They're like, oh, okay. They still think I'm weird, but then I guess they understand. But they still pace back and forth. So it just, it just gets weird, I guess, if you're there for too long. But you know what? You, you just do what you got to do if you want to get certain ones. So I'm not sure if the Roblox ones are easy to see through. I think they come in, oh no, they come in kind of a clear one. But did you get one? Or did you get the one that you wanted? So I'm looking through the answers here too. See. <laughs> So ha, I just changed it. I'm new. All right. You're new, new. Okay. So let's see. I would have gotten it if autocorrect actually worked. Oh man, that's a bummer. Wait, there's two. Oh well, so many toys. Um, sorry. Okay. So uh, the first one I see is Anna Banana got Daring Diva. Then Stan Goings got Daring Diva. Then the next one's in there with the correct answers were Gracie Lee. Then so many toys. Then Josefina. Um, Dunochi says, always, autocorrect always lets me down. Then, uh, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Uh, Felicia loves you, then said Daring Diva. So the first two in there were... Uh, sorry, it moves around when I'm scrolling up and down when people write more comments. So the first two were Anna Banana and Stan Goings. So, here we go. Anna Banana. And that's your third. Anna... Banana. I actually found a toy, um, Anna Banana, that the one of the, the characters in it is called Banana Anna. And I think it's like a little penguin or a little chick, but the name is exactly the same as yours, just the one word first and then the other. So I thought it was really funny. Instantly thought of you. It says Banana Anna and it was yellow. Alright, and then Stan Goings. All right, Stan Goings, that is your fifth one. And then Anna Banana, again, that was your third one. So here you go. All right, here's another JoJo question, guys. It's not about JoJo herself, but let's see how well you know her and her life. And I know I've asked this actually in a video, and I did give the answers in another video to that, so we'll follow up. So let's see, maybe if you guys remember, or if you just know JoJo, then you guys got this. Don't worry about it. But I am looking for spelling. They are super easy names. Um, and I can't say why. One of them is actually super easy, but you guys have seen it before. So um, here it goes. We all know JoJo's dog, Bobo, but she has two other ones. What are the names of her other two dogs? So what are the names of JoJo's other two dogs? I guess it's kind of family dogs. I don't know if she claims them to be hers, but the dogs that are in her house. So. <laughs> Ella, is it Ella Thabet? Is uh, Sugar Bunny too? Is that who it was that changed it? <laughs> oh, Denochi, I wish autocorrect would just leave me alone sometimes. <laughs> and then somebody many said, yeah, Denochi. All right, so. Um, Panda surprise, panda surprise. I'm not sure. No, I don't know. I'm not sure what panda surprise mean. Does anyone still have a Webster dictionary? <laughs> I have a Webster dictionary. I think I have a couple. I need to get rid of some things. So I only have half of my hair goals list. Oh, bummer. And I did forget to show you guys the list, but I can show you right after this. So, all right. Um, the first one to get it was Kika's World with Coco and Lulu, spelled correctly. Then Josefina Ramirez said Coco and Lulu. Then So Many Toys, then Gracie Lee, then Ruby, and then Anna Banana, and then Gracie Lee, and then Erica Eblen, and then Sugar Bunny Hops 2. Oh, different Ella. Okay, so I knew a different, I knew an Ella um, that had come to my streams before, so. All right, so I'm going to go grab the first two, so Kika's World. There you go. That is one. And that is your, let's see, where is your name? That is your second. And then the next one, I'm sorry, was Josefina Ramirez. And that is your third. A little bit sloppy, but we know who it is. There we go. Three. 
Okay, so that is our third question on that, and we will open up another blind bag. So we've got the lucky little lunchbox hiding behind here. I'll bring it to the front. Lucky little lunchbox, the Kinder Joy, the My Little Pony Cutie Mark Crew, and then Mashems. So those are the ones we've got. So which one shall we do? <laughs> All right, so Alexis, welcome back. <laughs> All right. Yes, yes, I did, Anima. I will. I'll email you regarding that. So, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, I see Kinder came in first. So, the Kinder surprise. So, um, of course, you guys, I mean, <laughs> there's been so many streams, you should know this by now. This is gone, this candy part. I've eaten it like a long time ago, but I still have this Kinder Joy part. It is the Disney Princess version. I know they still have these in the store, so they have like the Disney Princess and Star Wars ones, but I do see that they have some new ones that are like the ocean ones and then the, um, I think it's like the woodland creature, so I've got like a bear on it and then the other one has like a shark. So, but this is Disney Princess. Open up one of these before I actually got Pascal. I think he's glow in the dark, but he's super cute. So I'm hoping that the princesses or whatever else I get in here will be too. Um, I don't remember all the different ones. They did have a picture on the box, but we'll see what we got. I got another Pascal. Very cool. So you guys get to see it too. So he comes in a couple pieces. He's kind of just, oh, there he goes. Kind of just broken up right now, but he's pretty easy to assemble. Three pieces. as I say it and it's a little bit hard. No, there we go. See? There we go. So he is going in the dark. Super cute. I mean, for the things, there's been some like, eh, kind of things that I've gotten from these, but the themed ones are actually pretty good. Let me see. There you go. A little bit more focused. So he's super, super cute. Wish this stuff had been on the back, but you know, it is what it is. I feel like he's color changed too, like with warmth, but it's not. It just looks like it because there's kind of like different green variations there if you see. But yeah, he's super cute. I'd definitely like be wanting him if I didn't have him. And oh, oh no, he is by warmth. Okay, I thought he was glow in the dark. I remembered wrong. My apologies. So by warmth, he will change to a lighter color. So he just looked glow in the dark. But on the other side, it's like a little, I don't know, mini poster kind of. Well, it's a mini poster, but it would have been cute if it was. But yeah, Pascal, really cute. Let's see if I can get him a little bit warmer. I don't know, I don't know. Put that away, put that away. Yeah, you kind of see it a little bit. I won't spend a whole lot of time, but if you dip him in warm water, I bet you that would go really quick. So you just gotta remember to like break him up again into little pieces, that way it will dry out. Because if you don't, sometimes it grows mold, and that's gross. Really gross on our toys. Where do you want to go? You want to be up here? He's going to keep... Oh, I pushed him off. He wants to keep watch, though. There you go. All right, so another thing that I have for this is... Okay, I'll do this. So, I told you guys I eat Happy Meals, too, and this is one of the toys I got. So, the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. I have not actually seen this movie, but this is Miles Morales, I guess. So, he comes with, like, stickers to decorate him. Um, I guess he was Spider-Man in this movie, so I don't I don't know. I haven't seen it yet, but if you guys have and you like this and you want this toy, this can be yours, so you can pick that if you'd like. All right, so three new questions, guys. Three new questions. Um, and if you aren't able to stay the whole time, just check back after when you can towards the end, and you can see if you were drawn. So um, you don't have to be here to win. You just got to contact me before I start my next live stream. Otherwise, I just reset it, and it's done. So, all right. Next question. What is the name of the tiger in Disney's The Jungle Book? And get spelling right on this one, guys. What is the name of the tiger in Disney's The Jungle Book? I see a couple, I see a couple. Spelling, spelling, spelling. <laughs> All right, all right, so I see, 
thing. So Felicia Loves You came in, Shere Khan, but it wasn't spelled right. Then Erica Eblen, I know she meant to say Shere Khan, also it wasn't spelled right. But then Sugar Bunny Hops 2 did get it with Shere Khan spelled correctly. Then C100 Chloe said Wear Khan. Oh no, spell check. That's a bummer. And then Kylie Sparkles said Shere Khan. So Sugar Bunny Hops 2, then Kylie Sparkles. So Sugar, this is odd to write my name. Sugar Bunny, it's okay though. Sugar Bunny Hops, too. And there we go. And then Kylie Sparkles. Let's see. That was your second one, Sugar Bunny Hops, too. And Kylie Sparkles. And Kylie Sparkles, that was your second. So after that, I'll keep reading, um, Felicia loves you, then spelled it, then she got it, and she made spell check work. <laughs> and then Gracie Lee said it, then Erica Eblen, then, um, Simulator Chloe got just the first name, then Shakira, Josefina, Shakira, <laughs> that would be interesting. Um, then Kika's World to Chircon, then Anna Banana, yeah, so, uh, autocorrect, yes, autocorrect, you can, you can actually turn that off too, if that works better. So, um... All right, so let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, okay, so our next question is, and this this spelling because this is all easy words too. So unless it's unless I say no spelling, then it usually always is. But I guess I'll constantly say spelling anyways, just to remind you guys. But um, all right, what is the theme of Shopkins Series Seven called? I believe this is the one that was on my site. So what is the theme of Shopkins Series 7 called? I want all the words, so the exact name of the theme. So Shopkins Series 7. Hello, Mackenzie Walker. How are you doing today? It's Saturday for us so far still, and it's a pretty good day. <laughs> so Shopkins Series 7. All right, so I see wedding party. Wedding party is not. Um, let's see. Gracie Lee says, join the party, and that is it. So Gracie Lee, you got it. Gracie Lee. And I believe that's your third, I think, maybe. Okay, I will check. Yep, that's your third. And then right after Gracie was, what did your name go? Um, then Sugar Bunny Hops 2 got join the party. Then I see C18 or Chloe said wedding party. Kylie Sparkle said join the party. Then Gracie Lee said party. Then Erica Eblen said Topkins. I believe that's the series that Topkins were like kind of first introduced. But um, yeah, Sugar Bunny Hops 2, you, that's your third. <laughs> that's interesting. All right, Sugar Bunny Hops 2. All right, so next question. What is Tom Siwa's date of birth? Give me the month, the day, and the year, please. What is Tom Siwa's date of birth? Month, day, and year. <laughs> month, day, and year of Tom Siwa. How many questions do we have left? After this one, we have nine questions left. So that will be 18 more entries. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, that must be UK when they write it with the uh, day first and then the month. Let's see. I've got <laughs> Denochi says 514-1962. Wow, that's crazy. Where did you get that date? <laughs> I think you made that one up. So the first one was C18 or Chloe with June 1st, 1970. That's correct. Then Kylie Sparkle said June 1st. 1970. Then Denochi had something crazy. Uh, 1962. Don't tell Tom that, you guys. Then Josefina said uh, they got the right one. And then um, Ruby. And then Sugar Bunny Hops, too. Then, let's see. Yeah, Gracie Lee, that's, that would be, that would, that would be correct, too. But, um, like, we write it with the month and the day, but I knew that you would have yeah, I would have accepted that if you'd been one of the first two. And then Kika's World got it. And Lorena Gar Garcia says hi. So hello, Lorena. Welcome. Yo, know, Denochi said they made it up. <laughs> oh, Gracie Lee. It's okay. I think it's probably really late for you. But yeah, just um, check back to see if you won. 
So I will enter, let's see, where did it go? Where did it go? It is C18 or Chloe. And then, let's see, then Kylie Sparkles. So C18 or Chloe, and that is your fourth. Then Kylie Sparkle, that is your third. Uh, let's see, C Wa Nate or Chloe. And then Kylie Sparkles. All right. And that was our third question for this bit. So we have three more things to open. Which one are we gonna do? Got the Little Lucky Lunchbox, the My Little Pony Q Mark Crew, that's a Series 2 one, and then the Looney Tunes Mashems. <laughs> yep, good job, you guys, good job. And if you haven't, um, go ahead and click thumbs up. That would be awesome, thank you very much. He deemed multiple choice, oh no. I did have one multiple choice. I don't think I have any more though. So, all right, so Cutie Mark Crew by My Little Pony. All right, you guys got it. So, I've opened up one of these before. Oh, look, see, left-handed. I ride all over myself. Um, let's see, focus, focus, focus. Here we go, My Little Pony Cutie Mark Crew Friendship Party. There it is, Series 2. I've opened up one of the Series 2 and one of the Series 1. Um, I got Twilight Sparkle, I believe, in the Series 1, which is like a pink outside edge rather than the purple, and then Pinkie Pie. Um, in this series 2 one, but Pinkie Pie, was she like a pony? I believe she was. No, no, she was like a girl. I haven't gotten a pony pony yet, unless I'm just forgetting, but no, Twilight Sparkle was the girl as her, her girl form, and then Pinkie Pie, I believe, was her girl form. So, um, I don't know about any hacks for these guys. Maybe there's like a weight to it, but I have not opened up the whole box, and placement, you'd have to find it brand new. Almost as hard as LOL Surprise, but... Here we go. Oh, it's kind of open a little bit. Just slide it out. And then, oh, okay, here we go. So, here we go. And it's got a lot of decorations on it, too. Big old My Little Pony in the back. There you go. You can take this out. You might need it to stack it, I'm not sure. But here we are for this. And it comes with a little background inside. Hmm, who could this be? A background like this. Who would have this? It's really pretty, so I'm thinking maybe like Rarity, but I think she would have like diamonds or something. And I almost think Pinkie Pie because it's like, um, like kind of like a party theme. Maybe like Applejack because I remember in the, the Grand Galloping Gala episode, she wanted to um, sell stuff there. So I'm not sure who this is. I'm not sure, but we will find out. <gasps> no way! Oh my goodness! Yes, this is my favorite, my absolute favorite. I would never guess this one because I would have thought they would have given her like a night nice sky one, but look at how pretty Princess Luna. Oh, almost dropped her. Princess Luna is super, super pretty. I love the colors, like that purple and that purple blue color. It's so pretty, plus the moon. I mean, just everything is so pretty. And she's like an alicorn, right? Isn't that with a... I always forget, like, I think that's when it's a unicorn and a pegasus, an alicorn, right? If I have that correct. But so, so pretty. I love her. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Like, I didn't expect to get her. I don't even know if I knew. No, I think I might have known, but I, I forgot. So, yes, yeah, so pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm super happy. And she came with, like, a little cup, bowl, dish. I don't know, but she sits in it. And I thought, oh yeah, okay. I was going to say, they usually come with a little stand, so it says Cutie Mark Crew, but it's hard to see, but it does say that on the bottom, and you can set her on that so she can stand up, but she does stand up on her own by herself, so you don't have to use the stand, and the stand also does fit in here, which is helpful too, but that is adorable, look at her eyes, so cute, I just love this, this is so adorable, so pretty, so pretty, so pretty, all right, there we go, and then closing it. And she just sits there. So you can stack them. When you have multiple, you can stack them and display them all together, which is really cool. And the pink ones and the purple ones are the same size. So if you have Series 1 and Series 2, they do stack into each other. And I've not tried to see how many I could stack together yet, but um, might be a lot. And so yeah, they line up with the little things on the bottom here to the little holes up here. So 
super pretty. I'm so excited for that one. That's definitely my favorite toy today that I've opened. So, oh, thank you. Love my nails. I have to redo them. I've had these for a while, so. Oh my gosh, look at this little cutie. She's so pretty. So Princess Luna, ponies are over the moon for her yummy punch. Oh, so it was a punch pull she has. I didn't know she make punch. I like punch too. So there's the checklist. Oh, that's really cute. This little balloon animal. It kind of looks like a balloon bunny with Pinkie Pie there. I like Trixie. Fluttershy's pretty. Princess Celestia. Or Cadence, I'm sorry. I was, I was, this is Celestia. This is Cadence. Uh, Oreo cookie for Rainbow Dash. There's so many cute ones. DJ Pawn. And then, oh, that's so cute. Oh, I like the pretzel purse there. That's really cute. Ooh, the, is that slippers? Yeah, it's like little glass slippers. They're translucent, so you know I like translucent things. And Fluttershy, she's like one of my favorites too. So, but yeah, there's a, there's a lot I would like, and I do have a lot of these, so I'm hoping. So these, I think, are like the multi-packs. So it's like you get five, but there's one mystery one in there. And I know that they still have these like at the store. Sometimes I see them, so you can still get them. Not the series one, but the series two, but they are starting to change into the other blind bags. So if you want them and you see them, then grab them. All right, so let's see one more thing that I added. Okay, so I did have one of these and I actually got another one. So these were the my um, the Build-A-Bear, excuse me, little blind bags. They were like boxes that looked like the Build-A-Bear boxes when you take them home. But I got to double this and I'm not super into monkeys. So I just decided I'd give it away. But then this is the second one I got. So Gracie, I know picked this one before, but I have another one to put in there. So here we go. Brand new. It's not been used or played with or anything. I just kind of like open it and then put it away. <laughs> so that will be in the prizes to select if you would like it. Let's show our little things. We'll put them like this. There we go. That's a little bit better. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. All right. Uh, next, uh, next couple questions. Make sure. Okay. So what is the first and last name of the person pretending to be Ron Weasley's rat in the Harry Potter movie? And this is spelling because it was, um, was on my website too. So what is the first and last name of the person pretending to be Ron Weasley's rat in the Harry Potter movie? That came as quite a shock, didn't it? We did not expect that when we first saw it like many, many years ago. I hope you guys watched him in order and didn't watch him out of order. It would totally give it away. So, um, let's see. I see a lot of you guys are getting it already. So, I see the first one, Sugar Bunny Hops 2 with Peter Pettigrew. And right after that, uh, Erica Eblen. Oh, not spelt right. You're missing one T. Felicia loves you. Peter Pettigrew, you grabbed it. Um, then C18 or Chloe had grabbed it. Um, but I did get the first two. So then. Josefina said Peter Pettigrew and a banana that said Peter Pettigrew. Then Kitty Sam's World. Hello, Kitty Sam's World. Hey, Sam. Then you got Peter Pettigrew. So, um, first two were Sugar Bunny Hops 2, and that is your fourth one. So, Sugar Bunny Hops 2. Just in case anybody's wondering, too, that's not related to me at all. I don't know who they are. They knew they said so. It's not like another account I have that I'm like answering on. Like you can see my hands are here. So I just didn't want anybody to wonder. Or if you were wondering, I wanted to answer. So Sugar Bunny Hops 2 and then Felicia Loves You. And that is your fourth one. Felicia Loves You. There you go. Oh, okay. So that's four. All right. Next question, you guys. <laughs> Aw, there are lots of friends in here that you can make, Faith. So just say hello to everybody, and we've got a lot of really friendly people here. So it's really nice. Thank you guys for making friends with each other. That's really cool. You guys have a lot of things in common. You guys like blind bags, <laughs> like toys and stuff, like little cute things. So, all right, next question. Uh, in what year did Texas become a state? This is actually on my website, so this one should be easy. In what year did Texas become a state? See, a lot of these things, I'm going to be honest, I would not know if I did not look it up. I did not know what Texas, what year Texas became a state. I looked that up. <laughs> so. 
Oh, that's really sweet, Josefina. Thank you very much. Yes, I do work hard for this, and I know it doesn't seem like too, too much, but I mean, believe me, there's a lot that goes into this. All right, um, Sugar Bunny Hops 2. You grabbed it, 1845. The next one was Seminator Chloe. So Sugar Bunny Hops 2, that is your fifth one. Sugar Bunny Hops 2. There you go. And then let me scroll back up. You guys, a lot of you guys had it. A lot of you guys had it. That shows either you guys knew it or you've been to my site. So good job. Then C18 or Chloe. So um, there you go. And that was your fifth one, C18. Chloe. So if you guys didn't know, if you're new or anything, um, on my website, which is the same as my YouTube um, channel name, it's www.sugarbunnyhops.com. I put two questions each day that I'm going to be asking during my live stream. So you can always check there each day and then get two of the questions and the answers for it. So it's a, almost half of the questions already that you guys can know in advance. So that really helps if you have trouble with these. You just gotta be able to type fast. So, and some of them are short answers like that, which is really nice. So um, no spell check on those, but um, for the numbers, it's really nice. So um, yeah, and then I'll have other things on there. I'm actually gonna be hiding a new rock. I haven't decided which one, but I will post pictures of it. And also, hey, if you guys are not allowed to have like social media, like Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook, which I know a lot of people aren't, I actually didn't even have one for myself personally. I still don't for myself. Um, so if anybody's tried to look for me, good luck because you never find one. Um, I only have it for Sugar Bunny and because of Sugar Bunny. Um, let's see, okay. I think that has less of a glare on it. Um, then on my website, if you go there, you can go to the little tab that says Instagram and you're able to see every single post that I've ever posted on Instagram without having an Instagram account. So it's safe because it's only my posts and my posts are always kid friendly and appropriate. And if I see something inappropriate, maybe someone commenting something, then I do remove it. So if you don't have those social media outlets, you can check my website and see everything that I've been up to. I post cute toys, like awesome finds, like a lot of Jojo bows that I find. I post so many there. Um, also post for my live stream the different toys you can pick from and things that I'm doing if I go play Roblox or if I play on Fortnite then I'll do that. So there's a lot of stuff there. Also I'll be putting more um, merch which I'll actually show you something I've been working on. So I have these. I've been working on these. This is my first time working with like um, um, I think it's resin. I can't, I can't think of the word but yeah so there you go. That is like one thing and it's like, I've got some different thicknesses. Again, I was just testing with this and the mold actually had like a thing. So this one's not like great, but I've got different ones that I made and I thought they were pretty cute. So I'm just testing like with glitter and stuff. This one actually has gems in it and the way that it looks is like so cool because it makes it look like the gems aren't even there, like they're flat or something. Like you can see it, they just look weird. But I actually have these gems in one of my pictures. If you remember, I did blue and pink gems. But um, this one too, I think this one's really cool. The way that the glitter looks, the heart-shaped glitter, how it's iridescent like that. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with these. I'm gonna make them thinner. I'll probably make them into charms for like necklaces or something, or maybe keychains. And then um, pins, like I'll put a pin on the back and you can like stick it on like a backpack or whatever. Or um, maybe, I think I said keychains, but yeah. And I tried this one out with beads. This one's like really thick too, but I did glitter on the back. So I'm gonna be testing out like a whole lot of designs. So I don't know. I just thought it was pretty cool. This one kind of reminds me of Lux colors, like the golden teal. So I don't know. How do you guys like them? You think they're cute? This one's really cool. Like you can see like right through the gems. Let's see, and they look like they're not even there, but look, 3D, you can see that they are but it makes it look like they're like flat right there. It's just so cool. I really liked it. I like how that, it's just neat, it's neat. So there we go, there's the bunnies. But yeah, <laughs> do keychains. I'll be doing a whole bunch of different things. So um, I don't know, maybe I'll just like have it like this too. So I don't know, but yeah, I'll be adding more things to my um, stuff this week. Um, I did make other stickers. I'm not sure if I showed them to you guys. I did these ones. So I have those other ones that I have, just the big bunny by itself, but then I had these. So yeah. All right. 
Last question for this group of three, and then after that, we still have six more questions, and then we have that two blind bags to unbox as well. So, here is the question. Uh, descendants question. I don't know if I have any descendant questions. I think I did my one, but if you want me to do that, then go ahead and put it in the comments on this video when I post it, because when I go back through to do my questions, I do look in the comments section to see what people would like me to ask. So that helps me get my questions. All right, so here's the question, you guys. Get your fingers ready to type. In Super Mario Brothers, how many coins do you have to collect to get an extra life? So this is like, I'm talking like the old school ones, I think. I don't know if there's a change to how many, but yeah, in Super Mario Brothers, how many coins do you have to collect to get an extra life? <laughs> All right. First one up there was Kika's World with 100, and then Erica Eblen said 1K. 1,000? Whoa, that'd be a lot. Maybe that's for the newer ones, but yeah, it's 100. Then Kitty Sam's World said 100, so Kika's World got it. Kika's World. And that is your third entry. Good job. Then Kitty Sam's World. So Kitty Sam's World. There you go. All right, let's see. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, Liz. When I when I read them off, I read off the ones that show on my screen because each person sees something different. So I read them off from my screen, and it's different for everybody. So um, the, I'll read the order that I got them in. First was Kika's World. Then Erica said 1K, and that one wasn't right, but then Kitty Sam's World said 100, Kylie Sparkle said 10, then Liz came in with 100, then Erica had 100, then Ruby had 100, Anna Banana had 100, Liz said 100, Kylie Sparkle said 110, Dance Unicorn said 20, Pup313 said 100, uh, Liz Rodriguez said 100, Anna Banana said 10, then Denochi said 100, then Chloe, see when Chloe said 100, Felicia Loves You Again got 100, so that's the order that it came in there. So, um, let's see. Um, Mackenzie said she made me an Alan Walker alone song in my comments. You mean the comments? You made me a song. Hmm. You mean you made like lyrics for it? If you did, send me them. I want to see them. Let's see. Anna Banana. Anna Banana, you've got three entries. So, um, Erica Eblen, you have, let's see, you have one. And then, yeah, they look like glass. They do. They're really, really cool. Let's see, the Looney Tunes. Okay, you guys already knew what I was going to ask. So next, Looney, Looney Tunes, Looney Coons, <laughs> Looney Tunes, um, Mashems. So um, I grabbed a couple of these. Um, this, I'm going to say, is probably going to be Taz, um, the mystery one that just glow in the dark. So this is a series one Mashems. They're not my favorite, but I do like Looney Tunes. And I just wanted to get some new blind bags in there. So Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, Tweety Bird. Oh man, why can I not remember his name? I can't remember his name right now. Help me out, guys. Who is this? I know who this is. This is Sylvester. I can't remember him right now. What is this guy's name? Where do I get my music from? I get it from Epidemic Sounds. <laughs> what is this guy? It's a pig, obviously, but I can't remember. Um, let's see. Porky Pig. Yeah, it is Porky Pig. Okay, it is Porky Pig. So... All right, so um, they do come in bags now, so it is a little bit harder to see. I didn't even try to find out what I had, but if you shine the flashlight through, you can kind of get colors. I can kind of see some yellow in there, orange. Let's see, is it dark as well? I think there might be some dark on it as well, so I'm guessing maybe it's going to be Daffy Duck. I'm not trying super hard, so if I don't get it, I'm not too worried. I didn't guess well because I'm not super, super trying. If I spent more time, I'd probably get it, but you never know, too. So that is the only hack I have for you guys. But it would always be cool to get the, um, the go in the dark one or the bunny because I like that. But oh, look at that. So it is a, in a bag, but it's not colored and it is Daffy Duck. So I want to say he's not my favorite. <laughs> I never really, really liked him at all because um, I like Bugs Bunny and he was always like the antagonist. Like I did like their little spats where they would do rabbit season, duck season. And that that was really funny, but um, he's and then these are sticky too, so they get lots of stuff on them. But I mean, you know, if you're playing with it and then you wash it off, you're fine. 
but yeah, he's got a little bit of area you can squish him. You see the color, he's actually... Let me see if I can get it again. Okay, so it's like orange colored with black paint over the top. So they spray it with the black and the colors, but the whole thing is like normally orange. It's kind of weird how his mouth is too. So that's supposed to be like his tongue, like his mouth open or something. I don't know. It's really odd right there how that part is. I don't I don't have an explanation for that. But um yeah, like it's supposed to be it's it's just odd. It's just weird, but yeah, that's supposed to be his mouth open. So a little bit of a mash him. They have better ones that like are really big, but for these, they you know trying to go with the shape and style of the character. So have that. But there is no checklist inside. The only checklist you've got is the one that's um, on the actual item. But it just basically says you know this is don't eat or drink this. Don't cut it open. <laughs> I mean that would be kind of pointless. It is just a little bit of liquid in there. But so that I won't actually keep. That will be something you guys could pick. And there's other things too that I've open that I will put in there, but I just hadn't said. But, um, let's see. Okay, I have this. So I got this and, um, yeah, I just thought you guys would like it. Do you guys know what Jax is? It's a game. So you bounce a ball and you try to collect as many Jacks as you can and catch the ball before it bounces down. So you put these out. Let's see. It's a really simple game and I think there's like different rules you can do with it too. Maybe like advanced and beginner rules or something, but you just bounce the ball. I mean, I'm not going to be able to do it because you need to kind of bounce it high. But you bounce it and then when it's up in the air, you try to collect these and catch the ball. So you have to do both, otherwise it doesn't count. So that's a pretty fun game, but yeah, there's gold ones, silver ones, and two balls in there. And then instructions too, so you can play it with a friend, you can challenge each other, but it's like a little fun game you can take with you. Comes in a nice little container too, so Ridley's Games got this from Targets. But yeah, there you go, Jax. Something different, but you know, maybe you guys like different. Alright, uh, let's see, let's see, so two... No, two things, one thing to open. One thing to open, but we've got two sets of questions. So, are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? So, next question. In Disney's movie Mulan, what is the name of Mulan's dragon? Spelling for this, guys. Spelling on this one. In Disney's movie Mulan, what is the name of Mulan's dragon? What is the name of Mulan's dragon in Disney's movie, Mulan? All right, I'm seeing them come in. So the first one that I see come in is Felicia Loves You with Mushu. And then Ruby said Mushu and spelled it right. And then Kylie Sparkles, then Anna Banana, then, oh no, total embarrassment. <laughs> I hope that's just a name and that you're not totally embarrassed. And then Josefina, and then Erica Evelyn, then Kitty Sam's World. Uh, C18 is Forever, that's not spelled right, but um, Pup313 got it, and then c 18 is Forever got that spelling that next time. Oh, total embarrassment. Well, welcome. They are new. Thank you very much for coming. I hope you're having fun, or hope you're starting to have fun. So, um, let's see. I'm going to go back up, and the first one was Felicia Loves You. That is your fifth entry in there. Felicia loves you. And then the next one was Ruby Caraba. C A R R A B B A. I lost where I was. All right. There you go. Okay, so um, for the new person, for Total Embarrassment, um, I ask questions and I take the first two picks that I see um, that got the correct answer on my screen. It shows up different for everybody, so um, just to make things kind of less stressful, I created a different account that doesn't even write or anything in here, it doesn't answer, has nothing to do with Trick or Any Hop, totally separate, and it just is whatever order it comes in on my screen. That way at the end of the stream, I'm not... Um, going back and get looking at a bunch of screenshots and checking mine um, just because it just becomes a lot a lot of work so it's just to help kind of mitigate things keep it streamlined and easier a little bit easier 
So um, yeah, but then at the end of the live stream, I draw one winner and that's about it. So um, whatever you do, do not write your personal information in the comments though. Just um, you can contact me. All the information is down in the description box as well though about this contest and or giveaway, whatever you'd like to call it and just more information. So next question, you guys. What are the first names of Harry Potter's parents? Spelling, because these are easy names. <laughs> Thank you very much, Kitty Stanley's World. Yes, if you hadn't hit the like button yet, then that is very nice of you to do the thumbs up one. That would be awesome. Thank you so much. So what are the first names of Harry Potter's parents? Have I seen the Shopkins Funko Pops? Um, yeah, you did send me pictures of that, Kitty Sam's World. Maybe it was your mom, somebody. Not sure who I'm writing to. Sometimes it's you, sometimes it's your mom. But yeah, I did. I saw them at the store like maybe last year too. So um, the first names of Harry Potter's parents. Not the actors, but the actual people in the movie. Like what are Harry Potter's names? All right, so uh, let's see. Molly and Bob. Bob, Bob. So, um, Felicia loves you had got it, but she's got the five entries. So the next one, Molly and Bob. I see Molly and Bob. Molly and Bob. Bob. Molly, Bob. Bob. Erica Eblin. Lily and James. Lily and James is correct. So the first one was Erica Eblin. Erica Eblin. And that is your second. So Erica Eblin, there you are. And then after that is, let's see, Lily, Evan Potter. Wow, Dance Unicorns got like full names. Okay, so Lily, Evan Potter, and James Potter. All right, so Dance Unicorns. I don't know, are you new? Dance Unicorns, you did get it though. Welcome if you are new. Dance Unicorns, there you are. So Dance Unicorns, that's your first one. Yeah, it's Lily and James. Lily and James are the first names of them. I'm not sure where Molly and Bob kept coming from. <laughs> oh my goodness. Everyone, Erica Evelyn was joking, didn't know everyone would copy. Yeah, I'm like, no, it's not Molly and Bob. I'm like, where is everyone getting Molly and Bob from? It was just so funny. <laughs> that, is, that is really funny. So, um... Um, only five, just because I know it was getting frustrating um, for people who were like really, really good at this and then other people who may not be good, as good at typing or, um, or whatever, just that it was getting to be that like so many people were upset and not having fun. So I wanted to ha make it so that more people could enter and kind of just have fun that way um, to keep it fair. And that's also why I'm drawing two now as well, or putting two. Um, in the thing, picking two names that get the correct answer first. So um, I did post about it and everything. So it's just kind of a change I thought would help a little bit. Um, it's not to hurt anyone's feelings or to create any bad feelings, but I just thought it would be more fun for everybody if more people got to enter. So, um, all right, last question for these three. And then after that, we'll have three more. So um, this one was on my website. What is the state flower of Kentucky? And spelling on this, because these are easy words. <laughs> so what is the state flower of Kentucky? You're welcome, Dance Unicorns. Have I found any of the Peeps phone goes yet? No, I keep forgetting to look for that. I did get a, um, I got night lights. I ordered that offline. So I got the night lights Funko, um, the, uh, what is it? The How to Train Your Dragon. So I did get that one. So let's see. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome, Felicia. Let's see. Hello, R Riley Owens. She said she loves me. That's so sweet. Thank you. All right. Um, all right. So first one I see with the correct answer is Anna Banana said Goldenrod. Then Erica Eblin said Goldenrod. Then Kylie Sparkles. Then Dance Unicorn. Then Kitty Sam's World. Then C1Aders Forever. Then Pop 313. You guys all. Either you guys knew that. That's a lot. I don't know. Maybe you guys know all these things, but pretty sure a lot of you guys um, looked it up. So, uh, Goldenrod. The first one was Anna Banana. Oh, I gotta move this. Anna Banana. And then the second one was. Erica Eblin. And I will keep reading what it came in the order for me as. 
Okay, okay, I blend, but I'm gonna just finish this up first. And a banana, that's your fourth one. Oh, go in. So, and a banana, four, and Erica Ablin, that is your third. All right, so after that it was, and everybody was getting it, so Kylie Sparkles, Dance Unicorns, I actually did this, didn't I? Maybe I'm crazy, I keep, it just happened like a minute ago where I read it off, so I forget sometimes if I already did it, but I'll do it again, I guess. Uh, Dance Unicorns, Kitty Sam's World, Seawinators Forever, Putt Through and Three, Josefina, Ramirez, um, Anna Banana, Seawinators Forever, and then uh, Riley Owen said, um, I'm not sure a pick, Pick or like, maybe it was supposed to be. And then c Eaters Forever. Got it three times in a row. So, um, oh, you sent me pics of your new blue Peeps Bunny. Oh, yeah, I, you know, I am I might just craft myself some Funko Pops. I might just shape them with some, um, not some clay, but some of the, what is it called? It's that white kind of like molding clay, like the soft stuff. So, um yeah, so, um, Mackenzie, I can only add people who've answered the questions right, but next live stream will be next Saturday, and if you go to my website, um, you can find some of the questions on there, so go to my website, and then go to live streams. Each day, I'll add two new questions that I'll be asking, so you can um, get those answers in advance. So, yep, that way it keeps it fair, and everybody gets a chance. So, um, you love my pen. Thank you very much, Ruby. Um... Eat skeet. They're still there, but they're just not commenting. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, it's once you get five, and that's it. And then you can still stay, or you can choose to go, and then come back and check. But um, am I excited for Easter? I have been excited for Easter. All the stores have tons of bunny stuff, so I'm trying, kind of. Not really. I'm not trying. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not trying to stay away from the Easter stuff because this is when I stock up on all my bunny stuff through all the year. Because normally I can't find bunny stuff. It's pretty hard. So I do go to the Easter section, and I go a little bit crazy. I get Easter stuff, guys, because I need it. I need it in my life. I need the bunny things, and yeah, that's what I do. Oh, this was holding my thing. I don't need it there anymore. I use the little bottle caps to hold the circular stuff so that it doesn't spin and it doesn't roll off the thing. So, um, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, it's, yeah, lots of bunnies. Lots of bunnies. So, the last thing we have to open is the Little Lucky Lunchbox. Now, um, I've seen these like at the store and stuff, and I've seen somebody open them. I was a little bit bummed because I did pick this because um, I like the macaroni and cheese and it has a little carrot, but you're not guaranteed to get that set in here. I think it's probably never going to be that set. So once I found that out after I'd already got it, I was kind of bummed, but maybe I'll get something cute. Maybe I'll get the other lunchbox stuff that I got. I think I have like a sushi one too. Um, I didn't get them all. I think there was like nine or 10 to collect, but um, it says there's four mystery surprises, who's inside, and I don't know if it's consistently, like every macaroni and cheese will have one kind or whatever, but um, yeah, it, I just love the little tin. I don't know what's on this side. Once we take off the paper, we'll find out, but it's a little handle. It would be cute to store stuff in here. If you wanted to, you know, I'm always thinking of different things, but say you had to go somewhere and you wanted to like maybe make bracelets while you were out. Maybe you know you're gonna be at the store for a long time or something or your parents have something to do and you wanted to take some beads but not your whole box you could put just the amount of beads in here that you want to take for like making a bracelet or two and some string if you've got a little tiny pair of craft scissors like I know they have those this would be like perfect for that or just little toys so you know I love little containers like this and it makes it cuter so little tear strip doesn't look like it's gonna give me too much trouble as I say as it is Okay, maybe it will, but no matter what, I'll be able to open it pretty easy. So I'll just rip it. Okay, here we go. Oh, and here this comes off. So, the same picture is on the back. Oh, that's a bummer! What is this? Oh, it's something, ooh, icky. Is that, oil? you know, it might be like oil or grease from the machine, but it's kind of a bummer. And then this is kind of scratched. I tried to pick one that looked really good. So I am bumming about that. That bunny carrot is so cute though. But you know, I'm gonna clean this. I think it's like some kind of grease maybe from the machine when it rolls this. But yeah, that's it. it's a little bit icky. But I don't know if that'll be on everyone, so don't let that discourage you. So here we go. First thing, some paper, maybe just to protect it. I think so. It's like soft. It reminds me of like rice paper. 
Okay, so there's one bag in blue and a bag in pink. Okay, so this is the squishy item with the little character and then this is like the juice box or whatever it is. More rice paper and check this collector's guide. So that would be our first time and then there's the tin, so. All right, here we go. Let's see, should we open this one? My scissors. <laughs> False advertising, yeah. Oh my goodness, look at this. Maybe you guys will recognize this from right here. So, I hope I don't get the same exact thing. That would be such a bummer. <laughs> so, I've already got one of these, which I'm actually giving away. So, it might be. So, there will be two. <laughs> Little juice box. Oh, I didn't, you know, I didn't even show you guys. It opens. Oh, wait, there's a sticker. I lost my other sticker then. So, a banana sticker, which is super cute. I like that. Little banana sticker. I think I got a banana in mine too. All right, it's different, yay! So, inside of this one is a little stack of pancakes, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, you put whipped cream on your pancakes, I guess, guess you could. I, I think I've put my whipped cream on my French toast, but then butter, I put tons of butter on my pancakes, tons. All right, and look, there's another bag inside with our little figure. So it's not macaroni and cheese, but pancakes are kind of cute. What is it? Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> it's a little sunny side up egg. There you go. Like Gudetama's little baby. Super little. Just the tip of my finger there. But that is really cute. So you've got eggs and pancakes. I kept wanting to say waffles, but yeah, eggs and pancakes. So. That is what's inside of there, and you can put it back in here, store it. They're a little bit odd, I mean, I don't know, I mean, I guess it's just something kind of cute, but the fact that it stores it, I don't know. Not like the greatest toy, I think they're like five dollars or something, or you can put it and store it inside of here. But this does not fit into inside of this, which I thought would be cool if everything could store inside of one thing, but it doesn't. So you've just got this and this, or this, this, and this. So, there we are. I have a mess. There are so many things in this one. All right. Cleaning up. And more cleanup. Oh, look at this. On the thing, I just noticed, look, there's mine and mine. And I did not get that. I did not get a little thermos. I like that one. And a little watermelon sticker. But that is okay. That is okay. But we will check this checklist out. So lucky little lunchbox, there are 50 lunchtime surprises to collect. So this one's pretty common because I've gotten that twice now. And the little ducky, I did get the little ducky, I'll show you guys. But here are the lunch boxes. You can see there's the sushi sandwich. Which one would you guys pick? Pizza, hamburger, mac and cheese. I did get that one. There's a hot dog, pig in a blanket, club sandwich, burrito tin, and pancakes tin. So I got the pancakes one, but I've got the sushi and then the mac and cheese is what I picked. Foodie friends, hot dogs. So that one I have over there, right here. And then hamburger, orange bubble, duck. Pancakes, got pancakes, got egg. Blue slush, yeah, blue slush is good. Uh, sushi, mac and cheese, pizza, veggie juice. Veggie juice, wait a second. That's veggie, no, okay, that's not veggie juice, yeah. But there is a veggie juice. And then sheep. I was gonna say, that's really weird. Onion, PB&J sandwich, lime fizz, blue thermos, fish, avocado, I like the avocado, raspberry pig, citrus juice, that's what we got, citrus juice. So, club sandwich, goat, that's pretty cute. The cow is so cute, I want the cow. I want that one. A burrito, that one's good. Pig in a blanket, pink slush, that's probably like cherry. And then berry cola, shrimp, that's kind of adorable. Berry juice, and then pink thermos. They left two open spots, I guess they didn't have any more. So foodie friend stickers, there's all of them. And then that's it, it says high and juicy. So I don't know, what, I don't know about these. I really like the tin the best. Tin, tin is the best part, so. Um, but yeah, 
So I, veggie juice sounds gross. You know, I think that some veggie juice is gross. Like V8, I know there was one that I liked, but it wasn't just veggie by itself. So I like carrot juice when it's fresh, when I make it from fresh carrots and I juice it and then I drink it, I like that. But here we have this. I'm putting this as a prize because I don't know, I don't want it. <laughs> so I have the tin already, but I'm gonna give away the stuff on the inside. So it's like the hot dog one, and then the citrus juice, and the little duck. So there you guys go. You can pick this if you'd like. So you get this little set. I'm saving the tin, sorry guys. But if you like the toys inside, you can have it. One of those things you could pick. And then these two. These are just like little things you guys pick if you want to get it. So it's just like a game. You like go like this and throw it through. But you don't throw it through. You have to stretch it and try to make it through the hole. So there's a purple one and a pink one. Boom. So those are like those little party toys you get. So we have no more blind bags to open, no more prizes to show. We just have three more questions and then we'll be drawing a winner from here. So, of course I like carrots. You know, it's not just because I like bunnies. It's actually really, really good for your skin. It's really good for like your, your arteries and stuff. It helps clean them out. I know it's getting like really like healthy and sciencey sounding, but it's like, it's really good for you. And actually it tastes very good. It's actually sweet when you use fresh carrots and you peel them, peel the skins. And don't use baby carrots because they actually like clean, like they dip those in like bleach to keep them so that they don't go dry and stuff. It's weird. If you look it up online, you can find out about it. But yeah, I don't use baby carrots and I try not to eat them as much anymore because of that. But fresh carrots are really good. When you skin them, take off the top and bottom and then put them in a juicer and they're really, really tasty. So. All right, um, let's see, do a bonus question. I don't have a bonus question today. That last time I, I did, did have a bonus, but um, I have three more questions right now for you guys. These are the last three. So this is actually a re request one. Bunny loves carrots, yes, bunnies love carrots. They actually like um, bananas a lot too. Like, I think it's a common misconception that bunnies love carrots so much. There's a lot of other veggies I think that they like more than carrots. Like the bunnies that I've had, they like, the, the carrots will be like the last thing that they eat sometimes, like if they've got other stuff like, um, oh, I don't know, like what, what now, but bananas for sure, but I know that's not a vegetable, but okay. Anyways, moving on, um, here's your question. In the TV show Riverdale, who is the older sister of Betty Cooper? In the TV show Riverdale, who is the older sister of Betty Cooper? Spell it right. It's an easy name. So who is the older sister of Betty Cooper? All right, I see Erica Evelyn came in first with Polly Cooper. I would have taken just Polly, but that is right. So Erica Evelyn, and after that, Kika's World. So Erica Evelyn, and then Kika's World. I've only seen a few episodes of this show, so I don't know everything about it, but um, I was concerned because I don't know if, like, it's, you know, everybody's allowed to watch it or if everybody does, but the last time I asked a question about it, like, so many people knew the answer, so I'm like, okay, I guess people do watch it. So I know it's really popular, but I just don't know, you know, for age reasons or whatever, how many people are watching it, but yeah, maybe parents are helping with the answers here or sisters or brothers, but, you know, who knows? All right, next question. Um, spelling on this one as well. What is the first and last name of the fox in Disney's movie Zootopia? First and last name of the fox in Disney's movie Zootopia, the main fox. So in case there's an extra one, if someone does it, so. <laughs> so all right, so Total Embarrassment actually got this one, Nick Wild. So, um, Nick Wilde was correct. Total embarrassment, and then Erica Eblin got it, and then Dance Unicorns, then Anna Banana, then Anna Banana again, then Simonators Forever, and then Josefina, but they spelled it wrong. But I did have the first two already, and that is Total Embarrassment. And That's a long one. Total embarrassment. And then Erica Ablin, and that's her fifth one. Erica Ablin. And total embarrassment, that was your first. So 
Here we go. Last question, you guys. Last question. Denochi here. I'll, I'll ask this last question, then if Denochi's got a good bonus question, we'll, we'll have Denochi ask a question, and then he can't, or she, he or she cannot answer it, but they could, um, everybody else could, if that's what you want to do, but we'll, we'll ask this other question, then we'll talk about that, okay? So, here's our last question. In what state was Jessalyn Siwa born? Spell this one right, too. This is a short one, so... Easy. In what state was Jessalyn Siwa born? Not Jojo, Jessalyn, her mom. In what state was she born? In what state was Jessalyn Siwa born? Hmm? Jessalyn, you guys, Jessalyn. Not Jojo. <laughs> All right, so I see two now. So a lot of people are saying Nebraska. No, Jessalyn was not born in Nebraska. Uh, Jessalyn Siwa, Jojo Siwa's mom, was born in Iowa. The first one to get that was Kylie Sparkles. Kylie. Kylie Sparkles. There you go. Let's see, you're still, you were still, yeah, that was your fourth one. And then see, the next one was, doo -doo -doo. Ruby said L-O-W-A, sorry Ruby, total embarrassment got it with Iowa, total embarrassment, there you are, okay, so yes, Jessalyn Siwa was born in Iowa, um, yeah, but, all right, so Denochi said they have a bonus question. Denochi, are you still there? If you're still there, if it is appropriate, and um, I think people can answer it, I guess. If you're okay with not answering it yourself, obviously, because you'll know the answer, then maybe I'll let somebody do a bonus question. Would you like to do that? <laughs> yeah, sorry, Ruby. Yeah, I do the spelling now and stuff just to... Um, I guess maybe add a little challenge to it. So, okay, Denochi says yes, that they are okay with that. So, Denochi will ask a question, they'll type it in, and this will be a bonus question. Denochi's not allowed to answer because obviously they know the, um, the question, but um, yeah, I'll allow one bonus question right there. So, Denochi's gonna ask a question, you guys ready? Denochi will type out a question right here for you, and I will pick the first two people that have the correct answer. Hopefully, I will know the answer. Hopefully I will know the answer, so please make it something that people will know. <laughs> all right. So, all right. Total embarrassment, you actually have two entries in there. I believe two, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yep, two. So, all right, so. <laughs> Denochi, how did I come up with my name? All right, so I remember Denochi mentioned this earlier in the stream, so if anybody was here, um, how did Denochi come up with their name? Um, I did read that, so... All right, so... Here we go. I'm, I'm not gonna be able to say it until I see. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, keep guessing, guys. Oh, I know those lyrics, Mackenzie. All right. Okay, so Denochi asked, how did I come up with my name? And I saw that Yeet Skeet got in with the Dino Orange Chicken, but you do have the five entries. And then I wrote, someone wrote, because you like mochi. I like mochi. I like mochi ice cream. So good. Um, Alexa said your mom and dad, but that's not kind of specific. I know that they were looking for orange chicken and dinos which is sugar bunny hops too let's see how many did you get on there oh you had five as well already so then um i'm not sure what that next one meant and then um you eat mochi for dinner let's see dino orange chicken and a banana yep you got that one and a banana and that was your fifth one now so and a banana was that and then let me scroll back up because things moved down for me. So, Anna Banana. And then Josefina said Dino Orange Chicken. Josefina Ramirez, you grabbed that one. So, good job. Josef. 
Delfina Ramirez. All right, that is our bonus question. So maybe I'll allow bonus questions more, but the live streams will definitely go on for longer if we do that too. So, um, but it does have to be approved. Um, and you know, I don't know. I'll have to think about it because it might not be fair if people are telling their friends what they're gonna ask or something. I know this was just random, so I know that that didn't happen. So um, I'll think about it, guys. Maybe I'll do a stream like that. Or maybe, you know, would you guys like to do like a um, would you rather as well too? It's not gonna be like for, for answers or anything. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of more things to do. I think we like this, but I'd like to do other things too. Some things fun. Um, so. Yeah, there was, there was, um, yeah, I'm sorry, Ruby. It's just that they had dinosaur and orange chicken. That was kind of, I think, what they were looking for. Denochi, is that what you were kind of just looking for? Let's see what Denochi says. Denochi, were you just looking for someone to basically say dinosaur orange chicken, or were you looking for someone to, like, write it out? Would you accept dinosaur orange chicken because it does kind of just explain your name? Let's see what he says, and then we'll finalize it. <laughs> yeah, okay, so Denochi says, yeah, dinosaur orange chicken. So he was just asking for someone to, to do it. So, okay, we'll let, Ye we'll let Yeet Skeet ask a question, and then we'll make that final. Okay, so we'll do one more question. Yeet Skeet, go ahead with your question. Please remember to keep it um, family-friendly, kid-appropriate, and something that maybe I can know <laughs> um, so I can have the answer and verify it and stuff. But, yeah, okay, this is our absolute last one, guys, absolute last one. Um, oh, I know that song. I know, I know the song, the um, Alan Walker one. I like that. I like that song, Mackenzie. So okay, we're letting ye ask one. Um, Yeeski, I'm not quite sure that I'm not. I think that I know why. Let's see. We'll see. Train. Okay, so let's see. So, <laughs> why did I change my, my my name to Yeet Skeet? And she said that so she could say it. Dance unicorns, so she could say it to make Sugar Bunny say it. Okay, so sugar. So you wanted me to say Yeet Skeet, Yeet 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 Skeet. <laughs> Um, so she said that Anna Banana and then Dance Unicorns. Anna Banana actually has five and then Dance Unicorns does not. So Dance Unicorns and then who was next after that? Dance Unicorns. That's funny. You just made your name that to make me say it, huh? So Dance Unicorns. And then um, after that would be, I believe, Total Embarrassment because, yeah, they don't have five yet. So total embarrassment. Um, so yeah. All right, there we go. Total embarrassment. Really sloppy. Sorry, guys. But there we go. So we have all of our entries. That was the final one there. Um, that's really funny that you did that. Um, Make Sugar Bunny Day, Sugar Bunny. Oh, someone said that last stream she said she was gonna make me say it. Oh, okay, I missed that then. I totally missed that. I totally missed that. Um, so we have all our entries and I'm probably going to have to make room for this a little bit right here. All my little bunnies gotta go. Everything gets pushed away so I can have room to shake it. I think we've got enough room. I think we've got enough room. All right, so. I will shake this, draw out one winner. If you do win, please do not write any of your personal information in the comments section or in this chat or anything. Contact me. Um, the actual information is down in the description box, but um, you can contact me through email at sugarbunnyhops. Uh, I'm trying to think. So. <laughs> sugarbunnyhops at gmail.com I couldn't I kept on wanting to say like my web address but um sugarbunnyhops at gmail.com or through Instagram 
uh, at Sugar Bunny Hops. So those are the two ways to contact me. Um, but if you do contact me and you're going to be sending your information, if you're not 18, then make sure you have a parent's permission because some parents are not okay, no matter what, um, with giving out any personal information. So that is very important. So good luck to everyone who got entered in here. And if your name is in here, I will be doing a drawing at the end of the month. Um, where I will be drawing some winners. I haven't decided how many or how many prizes are going to be going out, but um, yeah, I will be saving all the names from here and doing a drawing at the end of the month. I'll do that each month. So kind of like what I was doing before, but um, I started saving them from the beginning of this month. So that's when I kind of just started. So from before that, I hadn't saved them, but at the beginning of this month, I started saving them. So good luck to everyone who's in there. Um, and I think that's it. Let's go. Here we go, here we go. All right, good luck everybody. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Okay, here's one. I got one, thankfully. All right. Anna Banana. Anna Banana, congratulations. You have won today. Anna Banana, contact me via one of the ways that um, I just mentioned, and we can take it from there. Um, thank you to everybody who came and participated. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, these are really fun for me. I like opening up the blind bags, talking to you guys. I could probably sit here for hours and hours and just message with you guys or talk to you guys and you message me. But um, I know this has gone on for a while. So um, I do want to say thank you though. Like I said, I do appreciate this. And I hope you guys have just as much fun as I do. If you've got any ideas for more things we can do during the stream, like I know like Would You Rather would be fun. Maybe you guys can give me even suggestions and I'll use them. Like I have some like Would You Rather questions. Some of them I've got to change a little bit, but um, yeah, I think that would be really fun because it'd be fun to see what you guys would say and then we can talk about it. So in addition to like the questions, that would be something neat, I think. So um, congratulations, Anna Banana. Um, I thank you guys for joining me today. <laughs> I see Denochi said drum roll. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. Um, unless you guys want to sit here and chat a little bit, then I can do that. Um, yeah. So let's see. I want to. I want to kind of do a would you rather right now. So let's see. Let me think of one. Let me think of one. Let me think of one. Unless you guys got a good one. Let's see. All right. How about this? How about this? Would you rather? Hmm. Okay, I thought I had one. I have part of one. I have part of one. Uh, would you rather have crayons for teeth or spaghetti for hair? What would you guys rather have? Would you rather have crayons for teeth or spaghetti for hair? Okay, well, bye, Josefina. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just probably going to get off after I, I read a little bit of the comments here. So, but thank you. Thank you for coming. I'll see you guys next Saturday or if I post between now and then. Maybe I'll have a video out this week. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. I'm going to try something new so that my editing goes a little bit faster. So, um, let's see. What would you rather have? Crayons for teeth or spaghetti for hair? I... I have such a hard time with this. I don't know what I would rather have. Can I have white crayons for teeth? If I could have white crayons for teeth, I might want white crayons for teeth. You know, maybe I would want spaghetti for hair because then I would just shave it all off and then wear a wig. I, I don't want crayons for teeth either. I don't want either thing, but it's, that's why it's would you rather. Oh man, that's so terrible. Crayons for teeth or spaghetti for hair. Oh man, that that's so hard. But yeah, I think I would go spaghetti for hair. I see. I see. Okay, so Kylie Sparkles said she'd rather have crayon teeth, <laughs> and then Josefina said spaghetti hair. Yeet Skeet said crayons for teeth. Grace the Toy Princess said spaghetti for hair. Yeah, if I can shave it off and wear a wig, then that's what I want to go with spaghetti for hair. And um, Felicia loves you says spaghetti, spaghetti for hair. So Ruby Carrera says crayons for teeth. It'd be kind of cool if you needed to like color. You just like. You know, put the paper up to your mouth. You maybe the paper cut, but yeah, I mean that'd be kind of funny. Crayons for teeth. You just smile, and they're like, "Whoa, what is that?" <laughs> but yeah, let's see. Spaghetti for hair kind of reminds me of um of uh, Roblox, like the um like the bacon hair or the spaghetti noodle hair. So then you can eat it for a haircut. Oh yeah, you know what? You can always feed yourself. But I don't know. Would that be considered gross? Would we think that's gross? Bye, Josefina. Thank you. You have a nice day too. You're super, super sweet. 
So, crayons for teeth says pop through in three. Would you rather build a snowman or make a snow angel? Ooh, that's tough. Kitty Sam's World said, would you rather build a snowman or make a snow angel? Yeah, sure, of course you can say one, Ruby, of course. Um, I would rather, man, I would rather build a snowman. I really like making snow angels. I'm really good at both. Just to let you guys know, I'm really good at both. But I like to build snowmen because then I like to carve them. I like to make them like different shapes other than the normal snowmen. I like to add things to them. So I'm really good at that. I think that's more like artistic, whereas the snow angel, you just kind of lay in there, move your arms and legs, and it's almost done. You could make a halo at the top and stuff, but building a snowman is really, really fun. So Pup313 says, Pup says snowman. And then, uh, let's see. Oh, mate, you've made snow bunnies. <laughs> I like snow bunnies. Snow bunnies are really cute. Felicia loves you said, would you rather have a snack all day with, would you rather have a snack all day with spaghetti for hair? Oh, snack all day with spaghetti hair. Oh, I don't know. I'm, you know, I'm actually not super fond of spaghetti. I don't know if I'd want to be snacking on my spaghetti hair all day. I don't know. Kitty Sam Swirl says, my, when my hair is wet, I look like Riety Ann, so I'd pick spaghetti for hair. <laughs> Let's see, never eat lollies because I love chocolate. Ooh, I like chocolate too, but I like lollipops too. Ruby says, would you rather never play with toys again or never eat chocolate again? Why, what is this question? This is terrible. This is a terrible question. I mean, it's a good question, but it's a hard question. That's what I mean when I say it's terrible like that's that's a hard choice. Oh man, I don't know. That's so hard. Can I open up toys but not play with them? I think that's I think that's what I'm gonna say. If I can do that, then I will never play with toys again. I'll never play with them, but I'll open them. Because I have to have chocolate, you guys. I I have to have chocolate. I need a chocolate. I need chocolate in my life. And I, ne I need toys too, but I can maybe I can go without playing with them. If I like set them up, is that counting as playing with them? So I don't think that counts as playing with them. If I just like test it, like this isn't playing with it, I'm just testing. This is testing it. I'm testing this. Testing, testing, testing. One, two, three. So I'll have to go with never play with toys again because I have to eat chocolate. So Kitty Sam's World has to um, send them you a picture. Yeah, you gotta send me a picture. And Mackenzie Walker's still gotten those um, Alan Walker faded lyrics. Um, let's see, you'd always have a snack if you had spaghetti for hair. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if I want to eat my hair all day though. Spaghetti, just spaghetti itself. I don't actually like spaghetti sauce. I like, um, like Alfredo sauce. Um, let's see, no toys can't live without, ch yep, no toys. Kitty Sam's World said no toys, you can't live without chocolate. Yep, Yeet Skeet says no toys. Yes, I can open them, woohoo! Then yeah, I'm definitely going to say no toys. I won't play with them. But um, let's see, would you rather have chocolate? This is the last one because we're going we're gonna to end the stream after this because I might run out of space on my thing. But um, it says, Pup313 says, would you rather have chocolate or candy for the rest of your life? <gasps> oh man, okay. This one's so hard, so, so hard because I love both chocolate and candy, but I can't imagine like not having like sour gummy bears or like Sour Patch Kids like that or like Red Vines or Good and Plenty's and there's so many other candies that I like, lollipops and gum and like all those things I'd lose out on just for chocolate, but chocolate, that's a big deal too. Cause then I would have like Snickers, Kit Kats, Milky, or Milky Ways and Carmelo's. I would lose out on all those. Like, oh, that's so hard. Oh, that's a really good one. That's a really hard one. I would rather have candy for the rest of my life. I'd rather have candy for the rest of my life. Because chocolate, I mean, oh man, that's so hard. That's really hard. But I think candy, because if I weigh out how many candies I'm gonna lose if I choose chocolate, I can't I can't deal with that. I would be I'm trying to think of what I have around me to to snack on. Tootsie Rolls isn't even chocolate too. Did you know that? Like Tootsie Rolls are not like made out of chocolate. So then my cheat could be Tootsie Rolls because that's not chocolate. Look that up, you guys. Cho Tootsie Rolls are not made with chocolate. So that would be my my um, my uh, cheat, I guess, would be I get to eat Tootsie Rolls still because it's not chocolate, it's candy. So yeah, I think that I would do candy. I would get rid of chocolate. Ah, 
Fortunately, I don't have to do that. So, but that would be a hard choice for me. So, all right, guys. I see a lot of you pick chocolate. You guys would eat. You would keep chocolate, or you would do without chocolate. You rather have chocolate? Okay. So, would you rather? So, they would rather have chocolate. Rather have chocolate. All right. So, I did see one more. Do that one in the next stream, Kitty Sam's World. My answer for that though would be, man. Oh, that's hard. Both things scare me. Space and the ocean, I think I would pick ocean. But, all right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and end this stream. Don't forget to contact me, Anna Banana. Congratulations, and don't forget if you got your name in there that I will be saving those for a drawing at the end of the month. Um, I will be doing another stream next Saturday. Um, getting closer to the time, I'll let you know. Sometimes it'll be around 12, maybe a little sooner, maybe around one like it was today. Just depends on how my mornings go and what I have to get done before I start. So. Um, other than that, just keep checking my website daily for those two questions each day and check the community tab um, for things to vote on to have see me open. And if you want to ask or want me to ask certain questions about anything in particular, don't forget when this video posts to comment it down in the comment section. So not in the chat here, but in the comment section. And I will do my best to get as many questions in there as I can. So thank you guys for coming. I will see you all next week. Bye.